to do like a whole vial and then another half of like a vial of the in in my mouth and she's like you're right it is really hard to get you know <laughs> and i'm like i i know <laughs> She has been the most amazing dentist. I've been so grateful that she was my dentist. That's awesome. All right, so we're live. I mean, we've been live on Twitch. I just started recording. Uh, so who'd like to recap what happened last time? Don't everyone speak at oh. once. Vigo, Vigo doesn't remember part of what happened last time, so I don't think Vigo should recount this. <laughs> I think Mood should do it. Mood Mood doesn't do recap. There we either. go. Go ahead, Mood. Okay, so what what did we do? We we took a short rest. We then prepped for an attack from Iendis. We then got attacked by Iendis. Well, it started with the, 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 the first group of adventurers popped up mind controlled. We had a discussion on whether or not we wanted to kill them or not, or if it was a, if our main focus was to kill them or not. We decided we were okay with trying to kill them, but our dragon friend, <laughs> Mermion, Mermon, Mermon, was good enough at his job where we didn't have to kill them, which was solid. Uh, then Ienda showed up out of the sky from hiding behind a building. He has some. He had some awesome jump in the air, smackdown, like a couple of League of Legends characters. Uh, and then we we beat him up. Uh, our dragon was very angry at his dragon, who was his son. Where I'm kind of confused. Uh, did he change color? Was he always a black dragon? Uh, he was always uh, a black dragon. He was always a black dragon, but he but he was good at some point. You don't know. We don't know. We haven't asked him that. That's something I, I, I want to ask him. Um, then uh, we successfully defeated Iandis, but at the cost of our lovely Vigo for a moment. And then uh, our dragon also has resurrection magic. We then saved Vigo or brought him back to life, and now Vigo's very tired. <laughs> and now we've all taken a nap. And that's where we are. For those tuning in uh, who did not watch last week's episode on YouTube, it's highly recommended. It is basically an entire session of combat. I don't think uh, I uploaded quite it deadly to combat. I think By the I time this is uploaded it. to YouTube, it will have been uploaded, so you can watch it then. Yeah, sure. Eventually, <laughs> eventually this is for the future. Yes. Be hating on me. All right, so yeah, you guys um, took your long rest. You leveled up. Um, there's a, a new day waiting for you. What do you guys want to do? Vigo would like to take a nap. <laughs> you are feeling a little better. Uh, I'm going to talk to... Could, over the night, could I have talked to... Um... Ray, Ray, uh, our leader. Yeah, sure. Of course. So, <laughs> so we'll say this nighttime. What do you want to talk to her about? I. Uh, well, what does she want us to do now? Uh, she'll say. So we've taken. We, we've, we've taken the keep. We are prepared to take on the church, but we're not thinking it's going to be too much of a like power, like hard to like remove that issue. What does she want us to do? Assuming. Removing the church is not an issue, since at that point we would have prepped the town enough to have a more permanent, like, control, like, leadership show up here. Uh, she will inform you that uh, she, will, she will have Vance send a forward party to begin to control the town. Uh, if you want to take care of the church in one way, shape, or form, go for it. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that's all I wanted to talk to her about. Okay. Easy enough to do. Uh, anyone else have anything post-battle, pre-morning? Did anyone have any other questions for her? I would have told everyone I'm going to talk to her. Uh, are we going to be heading back to the um, 
to uh, HQ or are we um, that's going to be heading out from here? Uh, does she have a does she have another assignment for us picked yet, or do we have some time off? You have some time. Okay, you'll so essentially we'll have, have a week of downtime after you take out the church. Yeah. Okay, okay. Does anyone else have any questions for her? You, I'm looking at the list. Uh, ask when she can be again sending reinforcements or more spies over. Yep, that was that was the forefront. That was the forefront party that she just said. Yep. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, it doesn't seem like okay. All right, so uh, now we get to decide. So I think we're all going to be in Vigo's room, looking at him sleep, because he's got to stay in his bed to rest, and we got to figure out how do we want to deal with the church. And I'm going to look at Silas. Uh, Vigo will prop up on one elbow and look at Silas and go, "I think it's your time to step up, buddy." You've been doing great, but this is more your field than anybody else's. So, I really think, uh, what do you want to do? Well, we can make it a spectacle, pretty much like, like, uh, do shock and awe, and demand the people of the church come out, and we give them the option of either leaving, or they can, uh, fight us. Um, I don't, I think it would be easy pick as if we were to fight them. Um, we could just rally up the people and let them know that they now have an option and let them go over and take out the church and see what happens and support them, pretty much be behind them and uh, and support their uh, grassroots efforts. Or we just go, go and burn down this church with everybody inside. Do we think we have enough pull with the townspeople to get them to rally against the church at this point? I don't know. Do we have the backing of the only person who can serve the most alcohol? I mean, we want to prove that we aren't like Andis, you know, like that was part of getting people on our side was that we're, well, you know, not like him. So I don't think going in and just killing would be a good idea. Okay. Yes, that that that's we we do want to we do want to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't that think is. the town knows that anything has changed. No, not because, yet. Yeah, we we've been we were actually decently sneaky in our like attack. Like the only thing that happened was a dragon. There was like thirty seconds of a dragon battle in the sky during like what is what was that like early morning, mid afternoon ish. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, the only thing is they, we, the townspeople would have heard the five or the four, the four or five um that were mind controlled say, "I end is here to take care of this," or whatever I said when they ended yeah, the battle. Yeah, the, the, How would they have heard that? Is there a loudspeaker? It, it was amplified. I end is. I end is right. love yeah, amplifying about the gate himself. And things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So they knew that there was a fight. So, but the, yeah, yeah, they knew, yeah. But it was—it's really quick. <laughs> yeah, it, it was not a very long fight at all. Yeah, yeah it's a really quick fight. But yeah, but I don't think really guns blazing is a great idea because part of there was so much unrest with the people. So we want to show them that things are going to be better now that we're here. So that's just my two cents. Uh, again, the the first thing that's going to actually be able to be a change is. One that can open up com commerce uh, automatically again. That's going to get people more more jobs. Um, two, what I was alluding to is we've kind of sweet talked our way into um, the bar in town, which is one of the only major entertainments outside of the gruesome beheadings that these people have. And so we can we could probably start our efforts there. At one night, and pretty much pick up steam from there. There seems to be enough people who could, we could rally behind and pay off, um, the proprietor of that facility, to to help us start that, that riot. Okay, but uh. What if we make them an offer they can't refuse? 
Well, the people, the Bane, the Church of Bane people aren't going there, are they? The bar? L let me tell you this. Why the church of, the, the people who are probably true believers of the Church of Bane are, will not be going there. The people who are true believers of the Church of Bane are sadistic um, rules followers who are take pleasure in other people's pain. Right. Okay, and, but again, I go back to what if we make them an altar? What if we make the church, the clerics of Bane, we make them an offer they can't refuse? What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking we point out the fact that there's a dead black dragon lying on the sword in front of the keep. And if they think Iendus, who's also laying dead on the ground in front of the keep, is going to be here to protect them and cover their asses, they're sorely mistaken. So, option A, give up their religion and convert to something else, which is not too far, too big a step over from what they're currently doing, but we're going to change their religion. B, leave. I don't think they'll take A. I really you never know. Like I said, we know that one guy got that Silas made friends with got sent out to a re-education camp. That's true. So I would be Maybe willing to bet if they dead. have to do that. Well, he may be dead. But if he's been sent for re-education, it's possible other followers have also been sent for re-education. And they are un therefore basically conscripted into doing their job. Give them an out. Give them a slight step to the side from worshipping Bane to worshipping essentially the Raven Queen? Silas, am I correct? I mean, yeah, the, the, the Raven Queen would be a, um, a much better alternative. Um, what, what, is, what is your religion? Who do you um, I I agree. Um, it's uh, Madame, and I give the full name as off the top of my head. I mean, it's it's literally the same pantheon as Doom. They're fey cre fey gods, essentially, right? Bane. Well, oh, Mood. Yeah, yeah. Mood, Mood was part of one of the arch fey people that blew up into a bunch of pieces. Uh, okay, so I'm saying it, so, but the religion that you worship, Silas, is still a death god. It's the transition, transitional phase of death, yes. Okay, close enough. But So that's that's the slight step to the left, so to speak. So yes. You're, you're not giving up everything. We're going to change a few things. You're going to sing a little different hymn. We're going to do the, the, you know, the, the, the ceremony a little bit differently. There's probably going to be less beheadings and a little less re-education camps. But essentially, you still got a deity that's willing to look down after you and Make sure your soul gets to the right place. How does that sound? Or leave. And I mean, the, I mean, give, give him that option. I think is a good idea. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think anyone. If there's anyone problematic in the church, I don't think they're going to take that offer. I, I do believe we can probably hit a bunch of people that were coerced into doing that job, like the person we found. I think we could probably, like, they will be willing to convert over, but I don't think anyone that has any, like, that would actually be dangerous instead of us just walking in and being like, get the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> anyone that could say no and actually has a, if anyone's there that could say no that has an actual backing, I don't think that they would convert. Because it's like, if I go to Silas, what could it take you to switch to the Raven Queen as your patron? Uh, anything? Really, literally nothing because yep. uh, I've I was was saved. So and they're and they're the same and they're essentially the same. Uh, th their their domains overlap almost completely. Yeah. So so I'm th I'm thinking people that actually gain power from Bane. I don't think they'll switch over. <laughs> No matter what we do, <laughs> then that's, then, but we can, but we can probably option. save a bunch of people though. But with but the ones that you, were coerced, I understand. But like I said, so you give them an option. If they want to go peaceful, they go peaceful. If not, we wipe them out. 
And I got no problem chaining the doors shut and burning the church down around their ears. So we haven't scouted the church at all. <laughs> like, I'm kind of worried that we're going to walk in there and one of them might just say death and one of us dies. Because this town, a, this, this town has been a... This town has been a a surprising little bundle of unexpectedness. Fun is the word you're looking for there. <laughs> um, I think the the biggest thing is going to be they're going to there might be one, maybe two people right, right. Who, it, who would be that way, but I could take them out. They're not going to be as even as close to where I'm at in this this area. That, they're going to be all out I'm adventuring. That's yeah. all I'm questioning is this town has been unexpectedly having people that can reach that level. And that's what I'm a little worried about. Um, I could cast Death Ward on myself or anybody, one of us. And we can go in there and give them that ultimatum and see what happens. Okay. And then we can, uh, then we would have more information, one. And then two, we could decide if there is somebody who can do that. Um, then we can go the the other route of grassroots effort effort to go to the bar and rally up people. Is any amount of normal people going to change much when faced with someone that we would be scared of? It would cause them to reevaluate because they could. Um, Don't you haven't you shown us like one specific ability that could kill hundreds of regular people in an instant? You are correct. <laughs> like, do we, so? Do we want to risk someone even of slightly weaker level than you, like weaker power than you, killing hundreds of civilians when they're just angry and getting in a mob? So that is out of the question. You are correct. Good, good call. <laughs> I, I'm thinking we go with mostly go with Vigo's plan. I was just wondering if there was a way we could scout anyone that might be. Is there a head priest? Because he's probably the most powerful. Probably. Like, We've... can we can we scout him first? You would see, know that there's like, a head take priest him in out there. somewhere. Can we, like, take him out when he's alone? Because we, out of everyone, he's probably not going to convert, to be honest. So if we could take the leader out, or, like, talk to him, or, like, however we want to deal, but deal with the leader alone first. And then, like, even if he is strong, he's alone. I would even say that we could probably just show up, and anybody who just flees, we would know is... is um gonna be not a problem <laughs> Excuse me. okay i mean like i'm just i mean we, we I, I mean are we do we think that that idea that they're stronger than but that would make them stronger than i end so we, but we don't we probably don't think they're stronger than i end right most likely not okay then i why just we, like why to we just be the most powerful one around and keep everybody else much lower than his uh power level the only one even close would have been archie okay then yeah let, let's go with vigo's play let's walk in let's, let's swagger in and see what they say and if not, we I, I have gained an ability to immediately get all of us out of trouble incredibly quickly. There's a new sheriff okay. in town. So if we get overwhelmed by something we weren't expecting, we can always most likely bamf out and then take a new approach. I think. Vigo, who, what was your contact's name for the Unseen Dust? I cannot remember, and I don't know where I put it. Um, hang on. I thought I wrote it down. Yeah, you did. It was back when we were having the, the initial chats with the guy. No, like, I um, thought I put it in the Unseen Dust, uh... Thing, but I oh don't yeah, I just looked at that note too. Um, I'd have to go back through notes to try to find it. So, That's can we just call him uh, Mike? Mike? Yeah, I like Mike. Sure, Mike. 
Uh, like, like the like the uh, like the unseen dust. Edit. Mike is Vigo's contact person for unseen dust. All right, as you guys are talking over, trying to figure out what you're going to do with the Church of Bane, uh, a small little paper bird flies through the window and lands on your shoulder, Vigo. Oh, didn't mean to shut everyone, but I can see it. I would presume that's written in some kind of thieves can't. So yes, it would read like, uh, you know, need eggs, butter, milk from the thing, <laughs> brown bread, something like that. Yeah, and you would know exactly who it's from and what it means. I got to go see a man about a horse, people. Um, <laughs> Anybody want to come with me? I will. Why not? I have, uh, I have fun with that. And your horses. He was got yeah, a magical no bird with a grocery list on it. Uh, it's a, I, it's I, a, it, I know uh, a guy. We'll put I it that way. To the, I turn into the elf bimbo I've been parading around that. <laughs> Uh, Princess, would you like to come along? Yes, of course. <laughs> I was addressing Mel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're addressing me? Mel is the oh, elven I princess. Do. The Vigo always yeah. refers to. Mood yeah. is just honey is honey honey hips or something like that. Uh, okay, I'll come. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, in in whatever my you know. T tidied up and, and less bloodstained clothing. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we're going to head down to the uh, Kiss My Mast. Uh, I got to see a guy about a horse. So I take Mood and, and uh, my elven princess with me and we go. I was a queen. Well, then she's my queen. I didn't realize I had demoted you. <laughs> To be, to be fair, I'm not super familiar with your backstory, so like, her title or whatever you I don't have so anything written here. down for backstory, really. We're trying to figure out our connected backstory. Anyway, so we head off <laughs> All right. to the Kiss My Mast. Okay. Um, as you approach, it is a one gold entry fee. Uh, there's no concert, so it's, so it's a little bit cheaper. Vigo will cover the cost for the ladies. Okay. Um, as you enter, you do notice your contact sitting at a booth by himself. Uh, I will drop the ladies off at a nearby table and uh, order drinks for them. Uh, and then I will head over to go have a seat with my friend. He says, um, so I heard you've been busy. Uh, yeah, there was a uh, little matter of cleaning out um, the rats from the farmhouse. This this is very good. You have proven your loyalty to this city. And uh, just know that we are behind you, 100%. We're glad to see a change of control, we'll say. I appreciate that very much. And I you know, hope to continue to demonstrate my loyalty and appreciate you... Uh, standing behind me um, also for putting me in contact with uh, friends of friends, uh, you know, would like to continue to make contacts and uh, exchange, um, take care of those who, who I can and, uh, you know, do favors for people uh, when I can. But uh, we're happy to do that. We're going to make a, um, we've heard there's another group of rats we may have to go deal with soon. Um, is there any problem with those, what is the symbol for Bane? Is it the skull? Um, it's in your notes somewhere. It's a fist, it's I the, believe. Yeah, it's the fist of uh, with like a little bit of light, like he's crushing the light. Okay, so I'll mention: Is there any problem with uh, those who who crush light in their fist? Um, they could go. We would not be sad to see them go. 
Uh, all right. Anything I should know about them in particular you've observed? Uh, if you want, we can uh, see what we can do to take care of that. That would be a great boon if you could assist us with that. Um, Give us a couple of days. Let's see what we can do. Appreciate it. As... And uh, Go ahead. you'll know where to find us. We should be uh, staying. Uh, now that the barn is cleaned out of rats, so that's where we're going to stay. Uh, so please come by any time. And I believe you'll find the new leadership uh, of the town is a little more tolerant and has a bit of a blind eye to some things that may start happening again. Very well. Uh, and as a sign of good faith, and he'll palm you a pouch. I accept the pouch without looking at it. Okay. Um, Mood and Mel, what are your guys' passive perceptions? Um, mine is 16, but, uh, Kojo, who is a tiny little puppy in my coat, just diddling around is 25. Okay. Um, Kojo kind of nudges you and like points at like a, another corner where there's this, excuse me, a, um, a furry humanoid playing with an odd cube and getting more and more frustrated at it. Uh, what does the furry humanoid look like? It looks like a bugbear. Kind of like he's got like a little cloak up trying to su semi hide his features. Okay. But not doing a very good job at it. Okay. Uh, what does the cube look like? Uh, it's got a bunch of different colors all over it red, yellow, white, blue, green. Okay. Uh, and orange. Yeah, I'll. Mosey on over because it looks like the, the Vico's meter is going well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll be like, Hi there, honey. You look in distress. Ah! You forgot to ask if he was hot. Did it is, did, is he hot? Did you say something? <laughs> What's your charisma? Uh, out of character. He, he's not hot at all. He's got okay. a 10 charisma. <laughs> okay. Um, you seem to be in distress. D distress? No. <laughs> I'm not wearing a dress. Are you having trouble with your cube? Well, I'm always having trouble with circle here. Do I have any idea what it is? Uh, yeah, you would know it's a Rubik's Cube. Is it just a Rubik's Cube? Yes. Okay. Huh. Okay, uh, getting closer, do I see anything distinguishing on the bugbear? The define distinguishing. Uh, symbols on armor. Uh, is there weapons? Uh, Why don't you describe your character, Christian? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How dare you make me actually think about what I, ha I am. I know, right? <clears throat> well, you will see a big-ass greatsword on my back. Uh, no discernible symbols or anything like that. Um, though I do have a very fancy belt. But otherwise, I'm just a, you know, plain Jane kind of bugbear. I'm a furry boy. It, it, if you look into my eyes, you will see that there's nothing behind them. No, <laughs> br no intelligence. Absolutely zero. <laughs> Uh, so I like pause for a minute and then, uh, Sabanto's gonna pop next to me and look at him. The fuck's a Sabanto? 
Uh, he looks like an elf. <laughs> oh, uh, that dude. Yep. It looks like an elf. Uh, does what? Uh, what? What does he see? What does Sabanto see? Yeah. So what? What? Ma- what's magical in what he's holding? Uh, Is he under cover of any illusion of any kind? No, no illusions. Uh, his belt and his weapon are magical. Okay. And I think that's it. So does this Sabanto just kind of appear out of thin air? Yeah. Right from basically like flanking me almost like that di- flanking me diagonally it just looks like an elf <laughs> where did you come from I'm, I'm just big old finger straight at him like have you have you seen the Grinch the uh, Jim Carrey movie uh, yes, but I'm that, that's how my fingers look. <laughs> oh, okay. Straight, like nine inches long, <clears throat> just come real hairy. Where did oh, you come from? So, uh, the belt is a, I assume, a belt of uh, strength of some sort. Yeah. Yes. No? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, somebody will just kind of whisper me that, and then he'll disappear. <laughs> <clears throat> Where did you go? <laughs> you. What? What you? What you? What I what? What you? What you? What? So, what are you? I'm a honey <laughs> bun. And then I go back and I, I sit at the table. <laughs> Honey bun. I don't see no honey. Uh, Kojo stays at the table, just is sitting on it, just looking at him. Perfect. He's with me. Yep. It looks like a small puppy. I will gently pet the puppy. Uh, he enjoys the pets. Yes, that is all I require in life: sphere, <laughs> puppies, the boy. Yeah, I'm. I'm just petting a puppy. All right, the puppy is a dragon. Uh, so Vigo, your uh, meeting is over at this point. After he hands you the pouch, and he says, uh, "I'll be in contact." You know where to find me, and thank you again. Uh, polite, polite tip of the hat, and you know, may your steps be silent and the shadows be deep. Yours also. He'll leave a couple of gold on the table and walk off. I will probably leave the gold on the table as a tip to the staff because I'm I'm not going to wind up making him look cheap. Um, okay, I will uh, go back and have a seat with uh, with Mel, and uh, I would like to take a quick look around, make sure no one's looking, and then I'd like to take a peek inside the pouch. Yeah, uh, inside our ten platinum. Excellent. Uh, that will disappear into the crown royal bag of holding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crown Royal Bag of Holding. I love it. If you look it in, is a, if you look in the uh, important documents, you'll see the party loot. It is a Crown Royal Bag of Holding. That is incredible. What's Vigo's contact's name again? Mike. <laughs> it's Mike now. It's it was something else, but I can't find it. I was looking in my in my notes and I cannot find it. I must not have written it down. So okay. I, I do greatly appreciate that you are taking notes, Mel. That that. Uh, does my heart good, honestly, and Kastrick is well, more proud of you. I haven't taken great notes the last couple sessions. Well, the last couple sessions were just fighting for the most part. Um, I'll be right back. I need to find my glasses. My eyes are okay. Who takes notes? I have some. I, have you met Kastrick? Yeah. It's come in handy for, like, when we've needed names and stuff. Look, I haven't taken notes in, like, a year and a half. <laughs> And I mean, like, since the last time I actually played as a character and not a villain. It hasn't been that long since we started the campaign. Yeah, I know. (laughs) You think I was taking notes as Archie? Like, fan favorite Archie? (laughs) Like, euthanasia? Archie, <laughs> eugenics, Archie. Welcome back. 
Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you. So, this, I'm going to go and tell you, this character, I literally just, I texted Brandon. I'm like, hey, I've got an idea for a character. It's a barbarian who goes into a rage over the thought of not being able to um, solve his Rubik's Cube. Yeah. And every day I've got like a 3% chance to solve the cube. All right, I'm back. Sorry. And if I and if I actually succeed, I can't use that to rage during that day. Uh, so I, I had a question for you, Chris. And again, welcome back. And, and this looks like fun. Um, I was going to ask, are, are you a furry boy? An eating chicken curry boy? Slurping a vanilla ice cream Why? flurry boy? Never moving slow, always in a hurry boy? <laughs> Riding in a horse-drawn surrey boy? Everything's always fine with no reason to worry boy? <laughs> He just keeps going. Yeah, because <laughs> know who I am, does he? Because uh, Archie's freaking titles and all that crap. So you know what? Just, just, just for that, just for that. May I? This is May now. I? This is now. <laughs> this is now Vigo's timeout channel. <laughs> okay, but like you, you cannot get me started like that, and then not let me go into Archie's titles. Go for it. <laughs> All right. I admit defeat. He was a gator boy. Then he's a skater boy. Then he became a waiter boy. Oh, shit. I used to have this written down somewhere. <sighs> what's, the, what's the underground people's names? Uh, um, unseen, unseen dust. Hold on. Doug's whining. I think he then said, see you later, boy. Killed all the haters, boy. Um, where the fuck are my notes? And I mean, this is like from three years ago at this point. Um, holy shit. Mel, is that right? I don't remember. Because it was... It was the uh, Tower of Ascension. Mel did a lot of lurking. Yeah, I'm aware. That doesn't mean I heard everything. Unfair. (laughs) But, like, it was, like, I want to say 12 statements long. I ain't gonna find it. I probably threw it away, to be honest. All right, I posted that for you. Incredible. So, what? how did this come up? How did what come up? Uh, the, are you a furry boy and eating chicken curry boy, that. that. Oh, well, I, I recognize your voice, and I realized that we weren't getting Archie back, so yes. you, said you're, you said you're a furry boy, so I said, okay, I can work with that. Okay. But like, did y'all hear Archie's titles or something? Yes, I've been listening to many videos. I've heard Archie's titles before. I see. And you always complain you can't find your notes from several years ago. Yeah. It, it's an ongoing issue. He's um, a, he's he's Brandon's biggest fan on YouTube. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then have you gotten to the part where I I roast the shit? out of that priest in um, Tower of Ascension and I tell him to stop being a pedophile? Oh, uh, no. I I got to the part where Archie went on a date with the demon and the crew had to go looking for you. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I'm speaking about even further back. I haven't gone that further back. Yeah, um... Let's see if he's even got the tower on YouTube. There it is. Mm-hmm. Words of the so, Emperor. For those watching who have paid attention to the saga of Archie and would love to learn Archie's backstory, please make sure you check YouTube for what is it, Christian? The Tower of Ascension. 
There you go. That's a good reference. And you can learn all about Archie's titles. And hey, if you if you figure them out from listening to those shows, please type in the comments below this video once it does get posted to YouTube and let us know what you think of all of Archie's titles and if they should have had any more added on to it. <laughs> Mel, this is from de the first one is from December 11th of 2020. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. All right. Um Temple of Paylor, episode seven. Ah, uh, no, that doesn't feel right. That might be the one where John fucking killed me. Do we have anything else we want to do in the bar? Well, um, who who was that? Who was the friend you were talking to there, um, honey? Oh, little Kojo just pointed it out to me, and he was a uh, definitely seemed out of place. <laughs> I went and looked, and he's right. he's potent. Sorry, I gotta go ahead to, and go potty. He's a uh, he's potent comparative to normal people, but. Nothing too terribly dangerous, it looks like. Um, I was going to say something, I forgot. Well, uh, okay, so this is, this, I mean. Oh, sorry. I Joel, was Joel might, you, Joel. you guys would have known that something was going on if you guys were looking at my stream because the overlay has been updated for the session today. Boom. All right. Anyways, um, yeah. So while you guys are at Kiss My Mast, uh, Sig and Silas, what I'm are you guys doing? The stream and I did not notice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part about it. So Sig and Silas, what are you guys doing? Um, I'm gonna ritual cast um commune. Oh. Um, the first question is: Is there anybody? of any great power left in the town besides anyone involved in the group. Uh, you get a unsure. Um, great power is very open to interpretation. That's fair. Um, with inside the church, um, could the head priest be much of a worry and cast things that could kill us in one or uh, two turns. Uh, you get a definite no. Okay. Uh, third one. Um, has our actions already been known by the higher ups in the? Oh, what is the name of the circle of dragon riders on this continent? The uh, the Order of Saint Gregory. Uh, is the Order of Saint Gregory already aware of our uh, meddlings? Yes. I figure it as much, but. Wanted to confirm. I look over at Sig. So, first off, we're good as far as, I think, taking over the, the church. Two, why so many tattoos? And how did you get this new one? Oh, yeah. If you feel confident in talking today anymore but other than that I I feel like we have we're, we're good here we're, we're probably going to just have to take out the church tomorrow I'm good if Sig is trying to talk Sig is muted maybe Sig is sleepy yeah oh Sig doesn't feel good that's right yeah so that's why I just skipped it. And it looked we'll... like he tried to talk. He might be muted or turned down. Okay. Uh, those of you leaving, kiss my mask. What do you want to do? Well, I had a question. I was still talking with Mood when oh, yeah, someone I stepped in here. And Absolutely. I was going to say, um, we have to start thinking. We, we've talked about having Chol, uh take over and watch the bot for us. Um while we're gone, 
uh, you think we could maybe recruit this uh, your your furry friend over there to? Uh, I mean, we we have lost, uh, you know, a couple people. Uh, we may want to recruit your furry friend to come with us, or do you think he might be a, a backup for Chol to augment the guard? Are we supposed to make that call? <laughs> I see no reason why we shouldn't we shouldn't upgrade our ranks, and he doesn't necessarily have to know who we're working for or what we're going about. And eventually, he'll figure it out at some point. But if he doesn't, all the better for us because we go we can, you know, put someone in front of us. And he looks big enough that he might have been able to stand toe to toe with the last person we dealt with. He uh, he does look. He is the, the, he's wielding a giant sword. I'm uh, also seven foot tall. Just it's a big, it's a, it it's a, <laughs> it's a big, <laughs> fluffy thing. Kojo likes him, so I mean, he's probably not horribly evil. So he doesn't smell like he comes from the uh, Knights of Saint Gregory, or whatever it is. Uh, I, uh, if I were the Knights of St. Gregory, I would not recruit him, <laughs> but I think he'd be perfect for us. There you go. So let's go and in, go invite him over and let's take him with us if he wants to come along yeah, he and seem like we can a, use him. Yeah. He doesn't seem like a infiltrator type. So I, yeah, thinking about it, he does not seem like the kind of person I would want to do an infiltrator style mission. So yeah, okay. Set, wait, 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 wait. This coming, this coming from the nine foot tall walking plant. Uh huh. Okay. So between you and me, who's better at sneaking into places? Well, I do look like an elf right now. You you can look like whatever you want, but in your normal guise, between you and me, who's better at getting into places? Um. Do you care how? Because I could just appear there. Yeah, yeah, no. There's, 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 style, there's style points to this. Remember we talked about the rules? This is one of the rules. It was like, are we saying who could get from here to there the quickest without being seen getting from here to there? Because that, that is still me. No, oh, no, no, no. There's, there's style points to this. No, there's style Just points to this. Ain't poofing, no. You, you and Vance, poof. Go, go poof. No, no. We go, so. we go poof. Uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, he does look a little busy. He was trying to solve a children's toy. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, you are a better recruit for this organization than I am. So I will let you. I'm, I'm a recruit. Do that or recruiter. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so I'm. I'm far beyond recruit at this point. So, yes. all right. well, come along. Let's go have a chat with our large furry person over here, and maybe we can convince him that we have other children's toys he can sell. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I you know, I got a ball of strength he can play with. <laughs> so, uh, Vigo will bring the ladies along, and we'll go and. Uh, Pardon me, friend. Mind if we join you at this table? I'm not going to even look at him. I'm playing with the puppy. I'm trying to get the puppy to solve the Rubik's Cube. It's just rolling around. <laughs> look, that's about half of what I do anyway, so. Okay. Uh, is Rubik's Cube more of a dexterity challenge or an IQ challenge? Intelligence. Yeah, that could be my strong suit. Actually, hold on. Nah, I got a plus three in it. Yeah, I'll take a whack at it. See if I can solve the Rubik's Cube. As soon as he tries to touch it, I'm going to grab his hand. Well, I was going to ask first. So, Friend, could I, could I see that when the puppy's finished playing with it? No. Well enough. Are you new to town? Do you, you know, do you work around here locally? Um, I'm from the green. The big green. Okay. 
Um, is the big green north or south of here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent answer. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, do you do you currently have employment? There's some place you're staying. You you sleep someplace. Somebody you know feeding you food. I sleep outside. Wonderful. Well, oh yeah. No, I'm not a big fan of rats myself either. Uh, you know, we have a, a big place. It's got a lot of outside space around it. Maybe you want to come hang out with us. We go meet people. You know. Why do I need big space with outside? Outside is everywhere. You're entirely correct, and there's there's nothing wrong with that. Just we have a you know we just we have a specific piece of a place, and but there's a lot of outside even in our big place. So you'd be welcome to stay there if you'd like to. We might even you know have a job for you there. What do I need a job for? All I need is fear, the boy, and put this puppy. Fear, the boy, and the puppy. Those are the three things you need. Fear. And I'm just I'm gonna hold the Rubik's cube up. Sphere. Oh, sphere. So okay, the round thing. Okay. You you know it's a cube, right? Sphere's its name. Ah, uh, you call your cube sphere. Do you have a, a sphere named cube? No. <laughs> What's a sphere? <clears throat> Well, it's generally kind of a, a round ball. Well, <laughs> I got two of those. Oh, there you go. Do you do you call them cubes? No. Ah, okay. That's what do you fun. call yours? Mine? Yeah, the the family jewels. Hmm. Are they valuable? Uh, to me, they're very valuable. Hmm. I, I, I place great value in them. Yeah. Good. Where? Big place. Oh, it's it's just outside this you know place, but there's there's no rats there. We we did, did just kind of clean it out a little bit of a bunch of the bad rats. Uh, but if you'd like to come, you'd be welcome to sleep there uh, if you'd like to. Puppy be there. Yes, that's where the puppy lives. Hmm. The puppy's very happy there. He, he finds it very comfortable and likes to run around and play there a lot. Doesn't he, mm. honey? Yeah, of course. The puppy likes fear. Sphere likes the puppy. I'll go. Awesome. That's wonderful. Well, you know, we might have some other things kind of like sphere or cube. Uh, and, you know, there you could also uh, work with those as well if you'd like. Hmm. Making a mental note to stop by the market and try to find some kids' toys. <laughs> you know, jacks, hoop with a stick, you know, modern stuff. Um, so, but well, what do you say? Would you like to go along? Do you, do you have a name there, friend? My name. My name is Dunnigan Shushan. Dunnigan Shushan. That is a big name. Uh, my friends call me Vigo. Hmm. V Vigo, if you're Vigo, then you can call me Dooney. Dooney. That's, that's what my mommy and poppy would call me. Well, I'm sure they're very proud of you and all you've accomplished so far. So Dooney, this is this is my friend uh, Mel. She's a princess, and this is Honey, um, <laughs> as she normally yeah. looks, but sometimes she sometimes she looks a little different than this. I met that one already. Does well, Elsa have Cora with her? No, she's not out right now. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, the puppy uh, belongs to Honey. Uh, and sometimes Honey, you know, doesn't always look like this. Sometimes Honey's a little larger. Uh, but, you know, it, it's it always, always good to have Honey around when we need to. So, tell you what, uh, Dooney, why don't we... Uh, Head on out, and we're going to go back to our big place, and we'll let the puppy run around with you. How's that? Mm -hmm. Now, quick. I'm going to take that for a yes. Has anybody ever seen Sling Blade? 
Oh, yes. No, I have okay. not. Okay. Nope. Well, that's, uh... That, if you've seen Sling Blade, you know what I'm doing. Hey. Uh, bits and pieces. Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, bits and pieces. I know what you're doing. Put some mustard on that. Um, my father happens to look like that man. <laughs> And it is okay. it's, it's hilarious because they call him Carl at work. I, I hope they mean that as a compliment. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's probably not. It's not a bad thing, though. He He's just bald, a bigger dude. And he was sitting there sharpening a lawnmower blade once. So he's calling oh, okay. Carl from Sling Blade now. He's been okay. that for like uh, seven, eight years. Ow. Wow. Eight. Okay. Yeah. So just back in character. Mm. <laughs> okay, duty. Well, let, come on, let's go. We'll head on out. Uh, and I will drop one extra gold piece on the table to pay for the drinks. Alrighty. Making sure Carl leaves it on the table. Or Dooney leaves it on the table. You leave kiss my la my mast. Yep, head back to the castle. Okay. You guys make your way back to the keep. On the way back, do I see do I spy any tasty rats? Any tasty rats. You do not see any rats. Actually, you know what? Make a perception check for me. Yeah, I I don't do that. Dude, we've been over this. I know, your none, characters are not very perceptive. None of... Yeah, I don't do perception. I am the big stick hitter. Hey, I've got not a negative modifier. 16, yeah. Um, You're looking and you don't see any. Um, Not rats, anyways. What, what do I see? <laughs> see a couple squirrels kind of like running around trying to forge a little bit. Done. I'm going after one. How are you going after it? How how do you think I'd go after it? Obviously, I get down on all fours. And I pounce. All right, make a make an attack roll. Yeah. I'm just going to roll a d20. I don't even know what to add here. <laughs> There's a cloak of squirrels. Next week, instead of game, we watch Sling Blade. Yeah. <laughs> That's a 15 without any modifiers. Yeah, you pounce on the squirrel and you grab it. It is in your hands. It's trying to wiggle and get out no, of the can. It's not in my hands. It's in my mouth. Okay, it's in your mouth. <laughs> oh, he did that Arctic Fox thing where it jumps in the air and dives into the snow. Yeah, pretty much. But a squirrel. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to eat that squirrel whole. Hole. All right, yeah. Uh, make a constitution mm -hmm. save throw with advantage. Yeah, you eat it whole, you keep it down, not an issue. <clears throat> Put some mustard on that. <clears throat> you know, I didn't intend to actually incorporate that quote into the character but that's thank you thank you i appreciate all the applause <laughs> all right you guys are method making... acting at its finest you make your way back to the keep what do you guys want to do uh ask anyone did anyone have an idea while we were out as i dropped my form for the first time in front of well, does he go and form prelude of the uh... Conversation. Uh yes, I was going to let the let the group know as a whole if they hadn't because I didn't say anything in the bar. Um, so I met a guy um, who I've met before, and um, the unseen dust is very grateful to us for actions taken. They said if we give them a day or two, they might be able to help us uh, with the other location we've been looking at and discussing. So, uh, they might be able to get rid of it for us. Mm. 
this they're going to be able to take care of the church for us? Or at least thin out the crowd, so to speak. Uh, so I think if we sit tight for 24 to 48 hours, uh, we might find something has been done we didn't have to get our hands dirty with. And we won't owe any favors in the process. All right. Well, from my end, um, <laughs> from my end, I go ahead. From your end, sorry, who's this guy? As I point to the, the, the point to Dunnigan trying to climb Doom. Or mood. Uh, this this is Dooney. Uh, we we met him down at the uh, Kiss My Mast, and uh, he seems like he you know big guy swings a big sword. Um, thought maybe he might join us if we need him for something like that, or uh, maybe he could help out with uh, Joel uh, keeping this place straight. Okay, well. Overall, we should be able to take out anybody left. Um, they, there's nobody here of any great importance that will be able to kill us in a few moment, from a few words, so to speak. So, um, excellent. And how did you come by this? Uh, I asked by goddess. You are you are more surprising every day, and I. I... I'm not a guy who likes to be surprised, but keep doing it. You're doing awesome. You're doing awesome. Thank you. So we'll just wait now uh, 24 hours. Um, maybe we could get more of a pulse on the city as well, but because I oh yeah, also the um higher ups for I and this already know about about us and what we've done here. So no big surprise there either. Uh, I'm gonna make an attempt to ignore. The yeah, two. you guys just out of the corner of your eye just see Dunnigan trying to climb Mood, and Mood just teleporting behind him anytime he starts to try and climb him. I, I'm just gonna ignore that and keep focusing on Silas because this is a this is an actually important conversation. Go ahead, go ahead, my friend. You were saying what? Um, the higher ups for I in this already know about what we what we've done here, and um, I don't think uh they're probably gonna be be harder challenges going forward for infilt infiltrations like this. Miramon will pipe up at this point and go, the, the Dragon Riders have a special connection. When one of them falls, they all know. They may not have care or love for each other, but they are a brotherhood nevertheless. Okay, so they know something happened to Iandis. They may not know who caused it, or how, but something did happen. Correct. Okay. Um, and um, are we to expect them to come investigate, or is it they keep to their own territories? All of our reports show that they keep to their own territories. They may try to have my wife uh, yield another dragon to create a new Dragon Rider for this territory. How, how long would that take? Uh, depends. I do not know the last time she had a clutch. Okay, but, but even if... So, and that's good to know. Uh, if, she, if she had a clutch right now, how long before the dragons could hatch and then grow up enough to be trained to take over About a month. The problem is that they have dark magics that they use to ac accelerate the growth of the dragons. That sounds painful. I can only imagine. I am sorry, and we will do what we can to try to stop that. Um, that is our goal. Okay. Um, so why don't we... Um, 
why don't we, uh, I don't know, do we want to set up a watch and kind of overlook the the church to see if we see anything happen or not? Because otherwise, I'm just, we're going to wait here for another note to arrive that says it's been done. That, uh, I'm not opposed to that. In the meantime, we could, because uh, I believe connecting, or like attuning to the uh, the keep would take up a bit of, uh, that was rather an exhausting process, so that would be, uh, at least give us a day there to do that. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad. Mel, what do you think? I think we've earned a couple days of downtime. Okay, so um, we'll take a, we'll take one extra day. We'll give the unseen dust a little time to work their magic. But I would like to set up some kind of. Can we see um, from the battlements or anything? Can we look down over and see the church? Yeah, you'd be able to see the church. Okay. Uh, so would like to do that. Uh, can they see us from where we're standing? No, they wouldn't be able to see you guys within the barrier. Okay. So we'd like to set up a just an observation post. But again, if the unseen dust is going to do what I think they're going to do, probably not going to be anything flashy like explosions and fireworks. It's probably going to be a lot of little stabby stabby in the dark um, execution style things. And uh, Silas, you you may want to um, you know I don't know study your book, say some prayers or whatever. You you might be setting up a new congregation, so you might want to brush up on whatever it is you got to do to kind of start the ball rolling and introduce these people to somebody other than Dane. On the uh, another note, does Raedra and Vance know that we've accomplished all this yet? Yes, I talked to okay. them last night and. Uh, that, that's something we, we we had talked about the night before that we were going to talk to them. Okay. Uh, it, did you have any questions for them that we didn't cover? No, nope. a character that we would have. No, okay, good. Nope, just wanted to be like, hey, we did the thing, guys. Uh, send help, please. Yeah, we we uh we told them they're sending their the people to to more permanently hold the town, and she gave us free reign to deal with the church how we see, however we see how. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fantastic. And since you're talking now, Sig, um, Silas had asked you about your tattoos. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I had to take care of a thing. Um, so the the tattoos. Um, they are a um a representation of of rank, more or less. So, um, it's part of the initiation. Uh, to the to the knights. Um, so as you as you saw, it is with, uh, with blood. Um, the the that is what is needed in the field, quote unquote. Um, there are inks made by the organization uh, to do this, but it is an exceptionally painful process, and part of the trial is to take it without flinching. So the, and he'll like he'll like move his arm so you can like plainly see it. The the platinum is the the first one you get. So that is your you have passed the trials. You are a member now. You um symbolizing Bahamut, and this is the representing the base style that we all learn. The the gold one is one that I took on specifically, and it is spe a specific specified training that I did. The more draconic powers that they have are kind of more represented by that particular one. The black one, um, bit of luck, bit of uh, accomplishment, um, is another martial style that I have uh, I have worked on mastering, and then it just happened to coincide with the slaying of a black dragon. Well, we've talked about religions, and would it would your monastery want to set up a religion here or a? a... I, me and the monastery do not get along at the moment. There is a reason I am out here, um, and not with them. They've, uh, in my mind, strayed from the path. There is a a set of core tenets that we we follow in our mercenary work. Um, I've just generally like just to put it like in broad strokes, 
because I need to figure out the specifics. <laughs> it's uh, the the it's generally be don't like do good by people, um. And they were taking work that is not that. Working for less scrupulous individuals. Doing a bit more shakedown work. Being more the the brutes instead of the models and the knights we we named ourselves after and the examples we named ourselves after. So that is the I I um brought that up. I was raised in the organization, so I I brought that up to the the leadership and uh, was promptly uh, got my ass handed to me and was excommunicated slash exiled slash I left. Uh, it's not really sure what my specific standing with the organization is. Uh, and I don't really wish to find out at this particular moment, but I would like to at some point recorrect the, the path that they are on. And my, my hoping is connecting with our more ancient and primordial roots of the organization gesturing at, at Miramon, uh, that we could, uh, correct that particular path. Have you only killed the black dragon? Um, so it's a, it is a, it's a both and kind of thing. Or, so it is, it could be representative of you have become a master of this particular style, but also it can, it is representative of a particular achievement. So these just happen to coincide. More or less. Now I, I have mastered the black, quote unquote, black dragon style. It's called something else in Draconic. Um, but this is the easiest way to, to do it. So it's a, uh, you look at how the, the black dragon fights, right? It is, it is in your face. It is very aggressive. So there is a, a st of watching that we have made a, a style that those of non-Draconic origins can, can master I think very much like i'm trying to correlate crane style tiger style that we see in martial arts movies to uh, dragons so it's more like this style is this and you only killed evil dragons we given that dragons have not been a large presence in this world in a very long time it used to be, uh, if you look at, at least that, as the legends go, that we were dragon slayers. But uh, since they vanished prim or primarily, or they are only parts of this of uh, the particular empire, you only see them being ridden. It's not really a thing. So we had to find to keep the tradition. It had to be modified slightly to represent kind of rank. Oh, okay. Uh, then I'm gonna go to Mermon. And ask, so so we knew we knew that the black dragon was a son, and we then now know that his black his son has always been a black dragon. <clears throat> I believe the answer to that was yes earlier. Uh, he would say, uh, no. The corruption process that they used to strengthen the dragons usually alters their body and their their physical form. Okay, so they changed into a chromatic dragon. Correct. Okay. So we don't have to worry about, like, an evil, like, silver dragon showing up and us not knowing that it's evil. It'll probably still be a chromatic color. Correct. Okay. Or we won't see, like, a good green dragon show up. <laughs> Correct. Okay. okay. I mean, good and aligned to your goals regarding a green dragon is a little... Uh, yeah, green, green is the most wishy-washy, but yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I can make one for you, though. Oh, it's all good. I just wanted to make sure. It's, it's just a spear that 2D does 2D... What, 2D6, okay. I think it was? 2D6. Instead of yeah. the 1D6. Cool. Just wanted to, like, make... Because I, I took it sorted that out in the planning notes. Yeah, no, I saw um, that. I took it, so I just wanted to make sure that 
I put it in correctly. How did we get recruited into this organization? Um, since, since we started at level nine, um, right. like, <laughs> how um, did we get into this organization? Cause we're going to have to so you, do that with our buddy. <laughs> you, you would have been observed for your skills, um, and then put through a test to see if, um, you are capable as well. Um, they're a little bit more lax now that they're trying to invade the Northern continent. Um, but a challenge would probably still be issued to see if um, Dunnigan is a capable individual. Was well, there any vetting on n not capability wise? Uh, yes. Okay, I guess that's the more important. I'm not worried about his capability. Just looking at it. Just looking at him. Miramon could also just be like, "Yeah, he can stick with you guys. Let it, let me know if he fucks up." Okay. If he fucks up, just I, send him. I, I guess that's solid enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's solid enough. Um, what 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 die the deity do we actually want worshipped in this town? Because I think if we were to have the Raven Queen, um, worship that would be okay, but it's still kind of a little bit morbid. Is, um, is anyone from the... So, the uh, Raedra said she was going to send more people here to fully, like, establish a, a system in the town, right? Mm -hmm. Are any of them clerical in nature? Um, I would say none, really. They, they, they don't we have ask a... Her? Okay, so we couldn't be like, let's use their religion because they're going to be here. <laughs> so that, that's not an option. Okay. Yeah, but I, I, don't, I, I don't have any idea. Uh, wait, where was Bane from? Let me... Can I get make her a general religion check to see... Um... Oh, there's probably a library in this in this castle somewhere. You can probably go look it up. If I will, I will assist him in that check. I am proficient in religion. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um. Where is the? What I'm looking for is a general good religion that would be a good replacement long term. Nice roll. Um. At this point, with what's been done to the people of this city and what they've gone through, um, a deity of some type of healing would probably be best. Saren Ray? Uh, Saren Ray, Paylor. Um, it's Paylor. Let's just go with the easy one. Dave. In, in my homebrews, Dave is the god of the sun. Yes, yes. I remember Dave. We'll, we'll go with Paylor. <laughs> Speaking of Dave, you know that Tower of Ascension was almost three years ago? Yeah. What the heck? Crazy. All right, so yeah. Um, is there... um so we'll go, say go that she can send somebody from Paylor over to help maintain the town. Good. I think that'll be solid. If not, they could be easily recruited, probably. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we have that plan. Um, now we'll wait, and I'm gonna overwatch the tower and um, watch the church and see what happens for the next day. Alrighty. Um, we'll, we'll bond with the orb from the thingy, so we can. Yep. Do things. Yeah. Two levels of exhaustion. Fantastic.
Yeah, so the only one who really can't attune right now would be Vigo. Aww. Uh, that oh, because that would put him to five. Levels. Does he have more than one? Oh no, he doesn't have exhaustion yeah, I'm, right I'm now at, because of he doesn't have exhaustion. He just right has now. resurrection sickness. Right, right, right. Nope. It's just gonna be. He's just gonna feel horrendous yeah. for the next two days. Yeah, you're gonna but feel like he can do it. shit, Vigo. <laughs> Hey, I earned it. But, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, we do it today and then sleep. We only suffer one point of exhaustion, so. I mean, we can sleep for the... I mean, Vigo's got to be in bed for three more days, right? He sleeps all day today, like he tomorrow, can, and the next day. He can do stuff, he just no isn't useful. Yeah, he just, yeah he just, he, he'll just have a small penalty. I mean, it's not even that big of a penalty because of his... Uh, yeah. A lot of his stuff, but it's just, like, what else are we doing? Right. Yeah. Like, we, we got to take out the church. Uh, and from we're letting, what we we're learned, letting we the unseen, even, yeah, we might not even have to do anything. Right, we're going to let the Unseen Dust do their thing and wait for another note to show up. Um, mm -hmm. So we got to give him a little bit of time. He couldn't do it right away, so we got to give him 24, 48 hours. we got to see what happens. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, so I guess we'll, we'll bond. Maybe, maybe Sig and Dooney can practice together or spar. Lightly, without killing each other. I mean, what do you want? We good. I'm not. I'm not the boss. Mm. I like me a good tussle. Yeah, we can tussle. <laughs> I think the the I don't like that. That the point is to like get to know each other, have a little fun, you know. Oh, hey, look. Do we have to stay in that room, though? Oh. Sadly. I mean, like, they can, they can still do it in that room. Yeah, you have to <laughs> you have to stay in that room and concentrate on it for 24 hours. Oh. You break concentration, oh. you do not get attuned. Oh. So okay. you, you, you can oh. still do things, you just can't take damage, so fighting's probably... Out. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, fine. I guess we won't do that. No. <laughs> I mean, we still, uh, I mean, he'll be exhausted. <laughs> I'm going to look at it and I'm going to look at the orb and I'm going to think real hard. Ponder it. Ponder the orb. Wander upon the ball. One, two, three. So while yeah. since we have some free days, mm -hmm. I'm still slightly worried about the farmers. Oh, because of the spider thing? Uh-huh. Uh, it doesn't seem to have affected their alignment. Okay, that's good. They seem to be not rampaging. More, yeah, they're just they just seem more hardy farmers now? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, that, that's that's good. Um Yeah, that's good. Cuz I don't I don't want to leave trouble for the people that are going to recover places. <laughs> yeah, so we'll say the 10 that are in the room now are the 10 that can attune currently. I assume you would want Korra to attune Miramon. Well, I think we probably Actually, want to leave Miramon can wait. Spe specific ones for, okay, you know, whoever's coming to replace us. I think more of this is a, like, oh, well, we, we can do this now. Well, we can, uh, there could be, like, 300-something people attuned to the orb at once. Yeah. yeah. It was 10. Oh, okay. It can only be 10 at a only time. Only 10 at a time can attune, oh, but a maximum of okay. 300 can be attuned. I mean... Uh, we really don't know. I wish I knew how to read. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Reading is hard. Dundee... Uh, yeah, I was about to say, like, I think we are, I'm going to push. I don't think Dundee should attune to the orb today until tonight. I don't really know him yet, so. I mean, that's fair. I'm, Do you want yeah, Chol instead, gonna... then? Yeah. Oh, definitely Chol. Oh, gosh. Especially well... if he's going to end up staying there. What does Chol want to do? 
That's a good question. What does Shoal like to do? Shoal? What is Shoal's plans for the near future? I don't have any plans. I was just wondering, was going to try and take down Iandus from the inside, and, well, kind of worked. Kind of happened. Did it from the outside. From the inside. Do you mean both? Okay, let's get some rolls, us. What do you, uh... I mean, we're so we're probably going to be moving on, but we would like somebody to stay that. We're, but we're thinking about putting your name up for kind of defending this and being uh, being a little more in charge. What do you? Uh, what do you? Well, we trust you. You know where you are capable. We have very much happy to vouch for you. I'm okay with that, at least for the time being. Yeah. You know, I figured it's a. Uh, Someone specific, someone that people know, the guards know, so we're not, you know, totally transitioning everything. Congratulations, Charles. You're now the Seneschal. Uh, <laughs> until you die or somebody better comes along. Hopefully it's the latter. Okay, bonding to the orb. Uh, 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 say, could you have your girlfriend, the, you know, the almond girl, go watch the uh, church for us while we're down here and let us know if anything weird happens? Yeah, I can absolutely do that. Uh... And if she doesn't so see anything, it, like... if she doesn't see anything, then that probably means the dust is as good as I hope they're supposed to be. If not, I'll have to do some training lessons with them. Fantastic. I will. Do I, if I leave, does it like, is there like a pause clock? No, it'll reset it completely. Ah. Then don't so, like, leave. Can't even go then don't leave. Then don't we'll leave. We'll say you could do it ahead of time. Okay. Because you know you're going to be occupied for the next 24 hours. So, like, don't we don't even want... get a pee break. Like, we got to, like, this is a Mr. Beast challenge. Yeah, oh, pretty no. much. Who gets the million dollars? Wait, wait. Even Mr. Beast, even Mr. Beast gave them porta johns. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the Donigan's gonna point at the orb and say, "What? What's that shiny?" If you succeed well tonight, you will get to exactly. You will exactly know what that shiny is. Mm. Tonight in the next week. It's Are our they all, shiny. They're all holding their hands on it. No, they're no, just we're just in gonna the sitting room. in the room. <laughs> uh -oh. I just thought the meme was really funny. <laughs> oh, I didn't even look to see the meme. Hey, Cora's out now. You had asked about Cora before. The... Where's she at? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 this this puppy. It's got wings. Why is this? Why has this puppy got wings? She's not a puppy. She's a dragon. Wrong. They're all puppies. Well, this is a flying puppy. No. Okay, will it... Will it run away like the bees and the birds? And no. them squirrels that flies well no she likes to stay with us oh <laughs> can I pet this puppy um not that I'm not the DM but maybe is there like a check he can roll to pet her the puppy pet check the puppy pet check um, I don't know what it would be. Make an animal handling check, I guess. Here you I go. Know. Yeah. I don't have. I, I don't have proficiency in that. Oh, you did me to soon. Yeah. I did me to soon. Oh, soon. Oh, you got to me to soon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or maybe I. Sh it's a seven. Mm -hmm. How does Cora react? Yeah. I bet that I don't puppy. No, like I what should I have Cora roll like to see if she likes him or not? Well, it's your choice. Do you want like 
Cora can just be accepting of him because she is bonded to you. But if you're not trustworthy of him, then Cora would probably be a little hesitant. She might nip at well, him. I don't really know him right now, so. So Cora might want to nip at him, but not, like, inflict harm. But that's okay. your call. She's your bonded creature. My Her page looks different. Oh, there's the rest of it. I think it's. Oh, because I think I had the, like, editing up. Yeah, I did. There you go. Okay. Because <laughs> I edited her hit points because she leveled up. So you leveled up. No, I think uh, that's kind of low. Like, she's kind of sniffs at him and maybe <clears throat> kind of <laughs> tears her fangs a bit and kind of steps away a little. Oh, it's okay, puppy. I'll be gentle. I might want to give her a little bit of time to get to know you. Time. What even is time? Time is nothing more than the passing of non-puppy petting hours. <laughs> Therefore, puppy petting is not time. Well, if she doesn't really want you to pet her right now, and she might bite your hand off if you try. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Does he keep trying to pet her? Uh... He's lost in thought at the moment. Okay. <laughs> He's just kind of frozen. Half imagining to the, the dragon biting his hand. <laughs> no, I mean like your your phil your philosophy over time has absolutely confused him, stunned him. In fact. <laughs> okay. Roll a d four, Christian. Yeah. Does he take no you take four damage. points of psychic like damage. Too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's called burnout. <laughs> D is there? Oh shit. Um. Is there smoke coming from my ears? No. That would be funny. Uh, just a mo just a drone. <laughs> That's all that is coming oh out of my, my mouth. Oh my god! I can't have a cold uh, with you playing because I'm gonna just cough myself to death. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm making you laugh. I'm gonna be like freaking Steve Martin and Little Shop of Horrors. Sure. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll fast forward through time. Uh, you guys get attuned and are exhausted. Oh, I have I have a thing to do. Yeah, go night. for it. So I, it does uh, does Dunnigan sleep? Does Dunnigan need sleep? Dunnigan is currently broken, as they say. This is going through the night. Yeah, so like <laughs> nighttime comes. Are you like staying stunned that long, or are you gonna get some sleep? Uh, I th I think I just pass out on my feet. <laughs> there you go, perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little dream on him. Yeah. Tree. Dream. Did you say tree. Dream. Oh. Dream. I thought you said tree. So what does Dunnigan dream about? At least the first. At least going in. What is he dreaming about? He's dreaming about the moon. Okay, okay. Uh, and then yeah, then what? Puppies. Okay. All <laughs> kinds of puppies. All so, shapes and sizes. We got four-legged puppies. We got three-legged puppies. We got the mysterious two-legged puppies with no hair. Them's and Saskarians. <laughs> what are the mysterious two-legged puppies with no hair? <laughs> mm. 
Them, them's the ones that talks to you. <laughs> what does that look like? Well, like like any old two legged puppy, really. No, so like, what is it a human? What does Mood like, see? Yeah, what does Mood see? Because <laughs> Mood is in your dream. What does he see as the hairless two legged puppy? Goblins. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So all of those puppies are going to like mer- start like merging into each other and then they just turn into Kojo as a puppy. This is the best dream ever. <laughs> and then the, the mood's going to show up. He's going to be like, hi. Mm-hmm. You're not a puppy. Mood turns into a mood-shaped puppy. Hmm. That puppy's got a leaf on it. So does Kojo. <laughs> Two leafy puppies. Uh, Double the foliage. Double the foliage. <laughs> oh my god. I want to ask him if he would mind thinking about his past and what moments brought him to be him. Mm-hmm. Or I was literally thinking, what is your favorite moments of your past? Mm. You're just gonna see uh, <laughs> him by himself in the woods. Okay. All that's around him is trees and animals. And then it would go to an arena. And there's a bloody person standing on the ground. What's the person look? Is the person you? No, the person is not me. I I am raising my hands in triumph. What? Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> and then the most faded day. The receiving of the cube of Rubik from Papa Bear. Papa Bear is just, you know, old, old bear. By the way, this, Mm -hmm. I'm not original. This is just the Jungle Book, okay? Okay. (laughs) Jungle Book is mixed with Gladiator. That's all I can think of. How dare you make me think of lore? (laughs) You know what my lore was? I just wanted to play with a Rubik's Cube and swing a big sword, okay? (laughs) Yep. We all know this. I Lore want, is fluid. Uh, can you think of times that you have almost lost the cube? Hmm. Yeah. There was that one time when I first tried to swim in the cube. It washed off. But then it washed back to me. It was a real good good time whenever it washed back. Real bad when it washed away. And then oh. mm-hmm. there was that time whenever Rockman he took he took Sphere from me. But, what does the Rockman look like? Well, he's a man. Big old dude. I mean, what what does he actually look like as you yeah, describe? No, nah, just give me a second. I'm trying to think of it, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not that good of improv. <laughs> he, so, imagine like, I'm thinking like a five seven dude, right? Mm-hmm. But I mean, a motherfucker that looks like he's chiseled out of marble. Okay. Okay. Um. And, uh, he, uh, very burly, you know, mm-hmm. big old beard, but he's got, and he's got animal furs on. He, he, he taught me how to write them runes. Mm. He showed me how. Put them runes on sphere. But in that, 
Nobody's ever gotten hold of Spear without me wanting them to. Okay. Uh, this will go on however much lore you want to give us throughout the night, just so that mood now... I don't see anything like suspicious, like suspe- not su- like suspicious in these memories at all. Like double agent or anything like that? Yeah. No. Okay. Then uh, Mood now level trusts level. <laughs> Dunnigan <laughs> after the night is over. Yes, Carson, I'm absolutely talking about you. One sec, guys. Yes. <laughs> Hold up, Carson. Hey, buddy. Stop yeah, speaking. Uh, Mood will then... Uh, yeah, moved into the um. Yeah, that, that, that's all I have. All right. Anybody else want to do anything while you guys are tuning to the orb? Keep making memes. I mean, yes. <laughs> Don't stop that. Oh <laughs> uh, no, Vigo's happy just to tune to the orb and nap. Yeah. Can I? dream about colors and combinations to try and solve sphere. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Thank you, magic man. <laughs> You're the given tree. I am here for all of this. <laughs> all right. So after the 24 hours, you are all officially. <laughs> yes, banana. That is sphere. <laughs> Where's <clears throat> fair? In the meme Holy channel. Holy shit. <laughs> it's fair. It's uh, fair. So when we wake up, I will tell everybody that I trust Dunnigan to not be. He's not a sp- I do. I do not think that he is a double agent. I do not think he is a spy. I do not think he is anything that he does not appear to be. So I trust him. I mean this with all due respect, Dune. Would I don't think he's smart enough to. Look, my mama Gobber. She she told me smartness don't matter none. As long as you can be friends to all the puppies on the planet. My point exactly. So wait, now you're channeling Bobby Boucher? (laughs) (laughs) Life is like a... Mama said life is like a box of puppies. You you never know what you're gonna get. (laughs) I can't with you, Christian. I really can't. Hmm. All right, um, so you guys are all attuned to the orb. You're saying how you trust uh, Dunnigan. Yes. What, what do you guys want to do? Uh, we should probably, now that we had time to do anything, let's look at our loot and see who wants what. Because I don't think we've done that yet. At least in, in its entirety. Okay. All right, oh. It's too far back now. I have to open another thing. God damn it. Uh, yeah, so okay. Anything that says needs ID, you guys would have had identified. Yep. All right. Oh, that's the actual. You can officially remove all the needs ID, whoever's in charge of the party loot. Not Vigo. I think it's just like any. For some reason, no one trusts Vigo to be in charge of the party loot. I trust Castric. Who does have but the Castric's party different. loot? I thought Vigo had the party loot. Well, the party loot's in the no. tab, right? Yeah, the party loot's in the Has tab. Has it been getting updated? Yeah, it's in the tab. It looks like it's been updated. Yeah. Someone's been keeping tabs on it. I have. There we go. See, not Vigo. Oh. So we have a lot of have to look it over. I mean, I've been writing it down. In my we notes. have a lot of stuff that uh, 
a lot of us can't use, even still can't use, I don't think. Um, Depending on... Like, we have two sets, we have two full sets of magical plate mail. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe we should sell that. I think, actually, Who are we gonna sell I think it we to? donate it to the cause. I mean, that, that, that's not a bad idea. I mean, none of us are going to use it, right? That, mm. Like, we're not going to use it. Money's not really an issue. Just like, I mm. haven't totaled everything up. We have 13,000 and a half gold in here. Holy uh, shit, this... We got yeah. some cool stuff, don't we? Yeah. How much okay. of that was from Archie? A good chunk uh, of it. Yeah, probably lost of it. <laughs> Incredible. We have... An <laughs> we have help? five normal... <laughs> Why do we have so much plain armor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need... Like, If it's mundane, I'm just going to remove it. Like, It's not important anymore. Yeah, we, we can... Yeah, yeah. The yeah. all the all the champions you fought in the basement were all very well equipped. That's true. That, that's what we. Yeah, you know, that's, that's why you have the five full sets of plate armor. <laughs> I think that you should uh, equip your new companion. You know, do you have anything? I mean, do you don't you have? I have a, I have a plus one sword and a belt of hill giant strength. Okay. Uh, what kind of you... giant strength belt is that? It wasn't it a uh, fire giant? Yeah, we have a fire giant one. Yeah. And we have a flame tongue great start. Yeah. Alright, so in grand total, we have 14,270 gold. Is that just gold? That is just gold. And it, I platinum. mean, coinage, coinage. Is that just coinage? Yes. yes. Okay. And 10 platinum. I don't. I remember we changed the scale of it, so I'm not doing At least that is everything that is in party loot. Every one platinum is 100 gold. Yeah. The I platinum that like we got from... something platinum. Uh, Unseen does get added to party loot, or did no, Vigo pocket that? that? No, Vigo, Vigo has, has that. that. Yep. Yep. So this is just like, what is... Vigo knows about those 10, nobody else. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so these 10 don't actually exist? If that's new, no, they don't actually exist. No, this is old. This okay, is, well, when I inherited this, this was already in here. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. out here is we that. know about. Yes. Yeah, yep. correct. Back, yep. my move. Okay, uh, Vigo, did you take those two superior healing potions yet? From the pot? No, one second. <sighs> um, I did take the Sentinel shield. You did, yeah, because that, that's what I was going with. I was like, I'm pretty sure you you took the shield already. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, right, so. I thought Vigo took the potions, but I'm not sure if those were another set of potions or not. Because he's the... He has the ability to use the potions and then still basically have a whole turn. Uh, I did not take them from the pot. They were part of some other loot that we gathered, and I, I picked them from there. So I think what's in the loot is separate. Okay, do you want them? Because Obviously, you have the, okay. yeah. I have... I have eight potions of regular healing, one mm -hmm. potion of greater healing, two potions of superior healing, two potions of supreme healing. Okay. Do you want to... Do you want to be the holder of the health potions since you're the most likely one to use them? Since I'm the one squishiest? Th that too, <laughs> but hopefully since you're not supposed other, to get hit. <laughs> other, people, other people should have those other two. I don't, I don't want every health potion we've got. I've got... I've got enough right now. Well, I'm holding on to. I have, I have two superior, two greater, healing potions. So it's not like you're the only one holding them. Right. So we had but, a split before. Right, but other people can have them as well. So let, okay. let's make sure we distribute distribute what's in the loot to other people besides Vigo. Okay. What do I'm we want to take? One I'm, supreme. I'm, I'm just. I'm okay, just poor. I'm just okay. a poor thief. Who has a constitution under 19 that has an attunement slot free? Me. Your con is under 19? My con is like 15. Okay. You, uh, we want to give him the amulet of health? Unless someone else thinks they need it more? No, go fine. for it. Yeah. Okay, amulet of health. Uh... Do you want the flame tongue greatsword, or do you have an attachment to your greatsword? 
this boy is all the boy is always replaceable. Okay, we can flip that out. So you have what a plus one that you can throw in that will just flip, and then we'll see what we can. Because if we sell wholesale, if we ever find a magic shop, if they exist, or someone to trade magic items, it's probably best to have them all consolidated and then figure out who needs what at that time, at least from party loot, yeah? Yes. Okay. So we'll flip out the flame tongue for a plus one? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm updating the sheet. Uh, did yeah. someone take one oh, of the I'm superior? Already, I'm already going. Oh, so am I. Good. Uh, did somebody uh, take a superior health potion? No, they took the other one, the the single one that we have. We still have two superior in there to go out. Uh, who do we want to get? We have two sets of sending stones. Uh, Vigo is actually holding all the sending stones. Okay, do we want to give those out to people? If we need to, certainly. Okay, do we want to? Who wants to be in contact with who? That, that, that's a question, right? Well, why don't Vigo just hold on to them? If somebody needs to break away, we'll hand over one of the stones. Okay, we don't want to, just in case we fall into a trap and get split up like has happened a couple of times before? So, you want a sending stone? No, I am I'm. I feel like I'm the least one to have one. Because the last time we fell into one of those traps where one of us got separated from the party, I think it was you. <laughs> That's true. You, I, I did go away. A point there. I mean, yeah, that's true. right now we're all together. Like, if we go out, then it would make more sense to... Well, I'm thinking, like, like yeah, sure, if we want to throw, if we want to use a... If we if we want to use them as just, this person's leaving, let's give them a sending stone. Do we, we want to do it that way? Or are we like, you that two should be in contact that. together, and then you two can be in contact together, so that if we have a situation where we're not in control about who leaves... As They'll long as eight. Vance isn't around, we're fine. <laughs> Anyone yeah. who travels with Vance gets a sending stone to call back afterwards and say, arrive safely, didn't die. Okay, so uh, put down, then Vigo has the sending stones. <clears throat> Those are the worst messages to receive on a sending stone. Like when they leave your house at 9 o'clock at night and like text you in the like, hey, not dead. Can anybody... can? Uh, can anyone wear the plate armor? Does anyone want to wear the plate armor? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, Chol would probably take one of the adamantine armors if nobody wants. Well, we have we have a set of adamantine plate armor plus yeah. two. Yeah. And then we have a normal plate armor plus two. Where's Chol? Allies. Um, is it okay if I took the two diamonds? Yeah, I, I was assuming you were going to take those two. Yeah. Res people. <laughs> um, going to 19 con would put me up plus two um, hit points for every level, right? Because I was at a two plus modifier. That it, 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 it turns from a... Pl uh, you had a 15 before? Yeah. Right? So it'll turn into a 19, which would be a plus four. So you'll gain... Yeah, two uh, hit points per level yep. we have, so 26 hit points. Holy shit. Yeah, nice. 26 more hit points. Cool. Uh, who wants the magical teleporting cape? Mel. Mel wants it. Solid. Yeah. I don't need more teleporting. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Mel gets the cape of mountain bike. That doesn't even need a attunement. You just have it, and then you're a magician, and you go, whoo hoo and you, you can teleport. Yep, uh, so <laughs> as an action, Mel, you can choose to teleport up to 50 feet away, or 500 feet away. Yeah, oh, wow. uh, at, so as an action. Of, so it the, will take an action for you to use that ability. Yes, Mel. thank you. Yes, I heard that. And, and you get it one time per day. It recharges it on. Okay. So the belt of fire giant strength. Mm. I'll give you this regular giant belt for that flamey belt. So the only other person that could use it is. Anybody could use it. 
It doesn't really matter on save. Well, it'll push your offensive ability more no. than your dexterity. Because you have a, you have a choice. You can use dexterity or strength when you make all of your unarmed attacks. So it'll just make your punches better. Me Me mechanically. Mechanically, it will just make your punches better, but I don't... It, it, yeah, that, that, it, it, it won't change, like, your monk abilities, yeah. but it'll make your, like, actual hitting people, you're more likely to hit and more do well, a little bit more damage. Get from a zero, or a zero bonus to a... Or from a 10 to a 25. Yeah. Which is pretty significant. Or you yep. could go to a 21. So. <laughs> I have gold. That's, that, that's what I, I got right now. I have gold at 17,370. Say that one more time. I have gold actually at 17,370. If we count our nuggets that we got. Oh, that's mine. separate. Long I count ago. coins only. Yeah, this is actual coin. This is, not, have, this is having us not find so, someone to sell things to. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, I'll take that the belt be... of fire giant strength. That sounds fun. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you just joined. Yep. I want it. <laughs> you, you already have the spear. If you already have the spear. Uh, <coughs> what, what about a boat here? Uh, smoldering splint armor. It's a heavy armor, AC-17, and the things happen. So, nope. No, I, don't th I don't think any of us use heavy armor. Uh, we have a gem. Uh, okay. 16,930. Okay. You, you might be counting um, some coins only Vigo has. No. To, no? Because, That's uh, all loot stuff. Okay. Well, so I just saw, like, I have some silver written down in the notes, and the silver's not there in the my notes and silver's not there and that how much silver <laughs> um well i gotta double check now because i was just concentrating on the gold okay uh i have the necklace so he's got the bracelets mm -hmm. platinum well 10 platinum would be a thousand gold pieces which would get her which would get be closer a like thousand gold difference Uh, oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think then that's everything. Unless we wanted to split gold now. Well, since we've uh, the party has come across some expenses in the past, uh, why don't we leave the gold in the loot, in the party loot, and then if we need something, uh, you know, we can we can buy it from the party loot versus someone having to go, hey, can I borrow this or borrow that? Um, well, it's but, a lot of gold, though. Maybe half, then? What, what's the total? 14,000 gold? Yeah, so maybe we'd split up 7,000 of it between our party? I'm going to be honest, I just one. use the party loot as a savings account. Like, I just withdraw from it when I need it. And then just, like, I, like I just, it's, like, that's just, how I view it is it's just, like, that's just, eh. We've reached the point, like, counting all that, eh. If I need it, I'll take it. <laughs> the only thing that really matters is, even That's though I have, <laughs> even though I have the five hundred gold piece diamonds, I need technically one that is worth a thousand. A, a thousand for the resurrection spell. So we and that's something, have. and that's something the party should purchase from party right. loot. As right. yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that, that's what I'm point. saying. The other seven thousand before, because yeah. we haven't really. Had an individual payday in a while. Do do you have a need for an individual payday mood? Probably not. But okay, I there has been some spots at, that have been a little iffy. At this point, I think we should each get two hundred gold each. That'd be about um, hundred. Yeah, because that way we then and that way we can start using that as our own, because two hundred gold can is pretty much like a year's worth of pay overall. Well, 
why don't you make it 500 because you pay one gold for a day to live at a decent rate that's 365 right there out of your pocket just for food and board um yeah about and if you want to go if you want to go down eight. right but if you want to go down to the kiss my mast uh it's at least a gold to walk in the door if not more so you're gonna need some extra pocket change yeah about 500 gold is about what is that eight no four thousand which is i was thinking a little bit like only a little bit more but it would have been what 700 gold a piece well there's six of us including there's our furry friend one two Yeah, there's six. Okay, yeah. No, your your, kid, your kids don't count, and Core doesn't get, I was get I paid. Were you counting but, me? I no. might have been counting you. Yeah. I've been counting you. There's six of us. So six. Okay. Not so... including Core. Not including Cora. Or what? What about a thousand two, gold apiece? Your two guys. Again, you're back to the thousand. What was that one? No, we'll go with five hundred each. And if you need more, just come back and draw it from cash from petty cash. Okay. Um, and keep the receipts. I, mean, I really can't think of anything we would want to use gold for. That wouldn't be stupidly expensive. So yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so everybody gets 500 and uh, petty cash goes down by 3,000. Vigo Mel asked a question in the channel or in the I'm game. Sorry. I don't know the answer to it. I don't remember. Why did you give me money? Uh, the answer yeah, you is gave yes. Cora the rings. Okay, so you kept the money from that. Yes, I did. Which is what paid for eventually paid for uh, the poison and the badges. No, and this then, is in the betting. This is oh no no, I know way, way back, back when, but that no no that was the original grub. Well, stake. that was part of that money that you had that you paid with the betting that from the way right. you won with the betting and okay. Correct. And eventually that led to the betting, which eventually led to paying for the poison and the badges. Okay. So Vigo has had expenses, but they've been right. covered from the initial take. I just want to make sure that was another $5,011 or gold to add if you hadn't kept it. So That's that's Vigo's, and, and I have doled out a little bit over time to cover the party for okay. other things. Okay. Because I don't know why I thought that Brandon was updating this, so I should like really when I when it's right. Okay, so uh, check. yeah, so I put the loot in the chat. It's up to you guys to update your party loot. I will update it with like who's taking what when it, when we decide that. So like right, for so example, I'm putting names next to who's choosing what. But other than that, you guys are in charge of adding loot to that page. Okay, so just um, who's ever responsible for this? We just doled out 500 gold pieces to each of the bipedal party members, which means that we just doled out 3,000 cash. So underneath the image of the Crown Royal bag, it says 14,270 gold. Now it becomes 11,000, which is correct. And everybody gets 500. And Vigo will cash his 500 and deposit it in the Banco de Cora for her to Except keep for him. We had 16,930. Didn't get... I didn't get updated. Where did the extra 2000 come from? I just went through all my notes and added it up. Okay, so then this should go up to 13,930. Yes. Those were the that was the only gold that other than and I took the nuggets out of the price cuz I had added that up. I took that out. And I had not added the other stuff that I asked Vigo about, so. Like I said, unless we're, like, okay. financing a whole bunch of shit, whatever, I'm the money for <laughs> I think the last big expense we're going to need is, once we get back into a big town, is the, because we're gonna, that's just going to be hard to find, is the huge diamond. Yeah, this huge diamond. You probably want to get a bowl or two. To be honest, uh, what for? Heroes Out of feast. Heroes feast. As well. It's okay. really good if we know we're gonna go up against poison. 
it's it's really good so like one maybe two of those it's one of those spells that's like it's super situational it costs a lot but it's very helpful it's so cl- it's very clutch i think it's advantage on wisdom saves too you get like advantage yeah. on wisdom saves you get a bunch of uh, permanent hit point increase you get immunity to poison it's great um like just to put like in perspective we can buy a boat Bless you. We can buy a long ship or a sailing ship. And just best guess on like just what's between us, we could probably buy a warship. (sighs) Like just between us. Like just best guess. Oh, uh, why mean... is an elephant cheaper than a warhorse in the PHB? Do you know how much you have to actually train a warhorse? An elephant, you just have to point somewhere and have it go forward. Warhorse, you have to actually train and have it um be used to combat. Yes, but if we spent all of our money on dogs. <laughs> <laughs> We just spent all of our money on war dogs. <laughs> that sounds like an idea. I mean, like we could. Speaking of idea, I you had don't one. Have those. Nah, I had the first one in about three months. <laughs> you. Yeah, what's your idea? I'm pointing at Sig. You promised yes. me a fight. Yes. Unfortunately, my friend. Can you give me two days? Two days. Two days. What do you need two days for? Moment. I'm ready to fight right now. I'm a little tired at the moment. What are you Spending tired for? Two, uh, staring at the orb. The orb. The orb. Give me two what days. What is this miraculous orb? It is the moon. No, I know what the moon is. No, it is the moon. We have stolen the moon. No. The moon in the sky is fake. The moon's made out of cheese. That's not made out of cheese. Have you been to the moon? How do you know that the moon is made out of cheese? Because Grandpappy Gabber, he told me. But I'm telling you that I've stolen the moon. It is it. Do we no. want to go to the moon? No. I'm lactose okay. intolerant. Because we can go to the moon if we really want to. Hmm. You know what I would like to do? Go see what the church is going on at the church. What are we going to give the the the, the, the our friends some oh, uh, right. another day or two? Um, I have nothing that I particularly want to do until we figure out what is going on with the church. I want to fight. I know where you can fight. It'll just have to wait till nighttime. Hmm. Do you want to fight? Where Where would you like to fight? Like, where would your favorite place to be to fight? Would Where would that be? Underwater. Put him with the Mogwai. I know you're fighting too. <laughs> I would like to oh. fight. Back in the arena. Okay, you wait till nighttime and you can go fight, and we we can fight in the arena. The you same. have to, you have you you uh, you wanted to diddle with the orb too, right? The orb. Eh. You can play with the puppies while you diddle with the orb. Yes, the puppies. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna. I'm going to sit down for however long it t- it takes to ritually cast speak with animals. I think it's 10 minutes. Yeah, I think so, too. All right. So 10 minutes goes by, and speak with uh, animals is active. And you yeah. can't talk with either puppy. <laughs> I'm going to stare at Cora. <laughs> puppy. <laughs> I wish to commune with you, O oh great wise one. Ye of the scales and wing. May I... Gently stroke your head. How are you trying to communicate with Cora? Like, what language are you speaking? 
I am speaking with the animal. Yeah. So Cor does not respond to you. Does Cor mm. speak Draconic? Yes. I'm going to talk to Cor in Draconic. <laughs> I could just do that. I wish to speak giant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know giant? I know giant. Okay. I also know giant. Mm-hmm. Alright, so Sigga understands everything you're saying. I wish to stroke your head. You are majestic. Or does that respond? Speak to me, oh mighty one. <laughs> I'll translate for him. Just because, like, I'll, I'll ask Cora in Draconic. Can the furry one pet you? Do you think he is trustworthy? She'll let him. Trustworthy? Uh, undetermined. An idiot? Yes. These two oh, you're dogs playing her. Are not to be trustworthy. What do you say, mother? Should I let him? Because you can speak draconic to her, so. Say so it's up to her. It's up to you. You want him to pet you? Uh, roll a d20 for me, Mel. And Vigo, I need a d100 from you. <laughs> I'm gonna start speaking goblin. Not particularly. Then you don't need to let him pet you. That's fine. You don't have to. You want me to call you back so he'll leave you alone? No, this is kind of amusing. Okay. I'm just I'm gibbering in goblin at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who knows goblin can understand what Dunnigan is saying. I, world. I think I know goblin. Let me look. I know lots of languages. I do know goblin. <laughs> yeah, so he's just I, I'm I'm assuming maybe I'm wrong. They're just repeating the same thing to Cora in every language you know. Puppy, I wish to partake in the stroking of your majestic head. You look very soft. Please don't be spiky to me. I am nothing but a bundle of joy and love for all the puppies of the planet. Make a persuasion check at disadvantage. Dude, that's like double disadvantage. For me, I, I know. Swear. Oh, it's a zero. <laughs> yeah, she she can't understand what you're saying, so it didn't matter anyways. I just yeah, want to see. There's no response from Cora. <laughs> Buppy, I have run out of languages. Pete, please, puppy. Brandon, you're going to like this one. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to. Uh, Vigo, you have a new thing. Thank you. All right, let's see this meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, straight. You, lady, where can I get a sharp puppy from? I want a sharp puppy. I'm speaking to you, Mel. Which one's the sharp puppy? Mm hmm. Yeah. That one. Cora is well, the sharp not, puppy. It's not a flying puppy anymore, it's a sharp puppy. Okay. Sharp puppy. Uh, Brandon, where'd you send that? Uh, you should have a new handout. Just for you. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing one. Hold on. Under documents? Uh, nope. It's just, uh, I'll put it in the department of documents. It's labeled church.
Ah, uh, thank you. Yep. And the Excellent. Um, okay. Everybody go on. I need to find a sharp puppy. What would Miramon be to you? Oh, God. Is Miramon in his draconic form? He can be. Well, that's a very sharp puppy, <laughs> but a puppy nonetheless. May I pet you, big sharp puppy? No. But, um, oh, why not? You can talk. I should be able to pet you. That is why you cannot pet me. And he'll turn back to his human form and walk away. I'm going to follow him and ask him about his magics that I don't understand. <laughs> you haven't dissuaded me. I want to pet you even now because I know what you really are. <laughs> <sighs> uh, he'll say to you, Mood, I can tell you, but can you change it so he does not remember that I am a dragon, please? Uh, That's something you're capable I? of doing? Yes. It's not... Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I would appreciate it. Yes, yes, I can do that. Okay, I'll come over to him and I'll... Uh... I wish to pursue the big, sharp puppy. Uh, give me a... <laughs> What kind of track is it? Let's see. You get wisdom? Wisdom saving throw! Wisdom saving throw! Mm. <laughs> One moment. Uh, when, when they've completed uh, attuning to the orb or whatever, which I think we did, mm -hmm. uh, yes. I will uh, slip the note into my pocket and say, I believe our friends are done. We should uh, go over and see about gathering silence and <laughs> 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 Yeah, you don't remember um, that Miramon is a sharp puppy. Yeah, uh, you, yeah, you got that. That little segment is. Uh, you just... What's your favorite food? Rats. I, I gave you a little bowl of rats and you ate it, and now you're decently happy about the rats that you ate. <laughs> that, that's what happened. It said. <laughs> And then I'll be like, uh, I'll be like, uh, now that that, now that our friend has had his meal, uh, I'll let him play with his puppies while he attunes to the orb. So, orb, orb. We should uh, go and meet then... uh, Silas. I think we need to meet your uh, new flock. All right. Are we willing to walk over there and let's see what happens? How many? dead bodies are going to be. Okay, so you make your way to the church? I, I would I would oh. expect um, I, I would expect cleanup has occurred. I would never accuse um, you know, my friends of leaving a mess behind. Right. Um, so you make your way to the church. Uh, and as you enter, there is a sermon going on. Um, and you see the 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 uh, the um sim the symbol the symbolism bleh, I cannot talk the symbolism in the building is that of Palor, not of Bane. Of the church. Yes. Solid. Yeah, it looks like we don't have to do anything. I love this. Oh. Is um, there I'm, a uh, is there an alms box somewhere nearby? Yes. 
I, I can I can do it. There was a, like a maybe a, a junior priest of Palor running around somewhere, some acolyte that I can talk to for a second. Uh, sure. I'd like to walk up to him in his bright yellow and red robes and say, "Brother, we're very happy to have you here, and we we hope that the the Sun Lord will smile down upon you as you bring light into the darkness that had been here before you." And I would like to make a small offering uh, to the donation uh, for the, the church. And I will hand him an Electrum piece. So he looks at you. And kind of looks around. And he says, My brother, you know damn well that that is useless here. And this is a front until your friends come and can take over the church. I absolutely know that. Which is why I gave you a coin that's worthless. You know, most <laughs> in the guild will see that as an insult. I apologize, and I will swap it out for two gold pieces. He will thank you and bow, and he'll put it in the alms box. <gasps> as I will refocket my electrum piece. As, as I'm listening to this um, sermon, like, how legit is it? Or is this guy just trying to pull stuff out of his um, ass? Make a religion check. I, I like to imagine this is more of Shakespeare in the park. Someone is spending his 15 minutes of fame strolling across the, you know, the thing. There's Probably some fire and brimstone preacher, literally, up on the stage, just railing away about, you know, step into the light and, and the sun shall shine upon you, et cetera, et cetera. The darkness is, is, you know, behind you as you enter the new path, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I rolled an eight. Yeah, so go for it. there's some bits and pieces missing that he's kind of glossing over, um, but it is a, it is a very basic... Um, service of Paylor. Uh, all right, I, they're they're trying. Um, I'm gonna look around. Do people just seem like bored, or do they seem more confused? What is the general apathy now in the church? I'm sorry. What was that? What is like? Is is the general mood like? It, are people like kind of excited to be here like are they like looking forward to the new change or are they just kind of like yeah i'm here because i'm supposed to be in church but why are they check. talking about this make an okay. inside check <clears throat> so 19 insight Give me one second. Having non combat stats. My passive perception right now is a 30 because I somehow boosted that ridiculously. Yeah, I love what's it. What's passive um, perception? Exactly. There, there's definitely some confusion as to what's going on. Um, but the initial sense is that people are kind of relieved it's not so intense for lack of a better word um Vigo can you do me a favor of course brother Silas can you see about starting rumors up that the port is going to open and then see what the pulse is on that oh absolutely of course um I will seek out, you know, that same acolyte, uh, and real, you know, let him know that uh, I apologize. I must have given you the wrong donation, and would like to say that, in light of this new development, I'm thrilled to hear that the port will soon open, uh, and word should be put out that that's going to happen. And I will hand him five more gold. You will bow, thank you, and say. But of course, my brother, it will be it'll be done. 
And he'll put the gold in the alms box. Do all five coins go in the alms box? Yep. Good, because I'm watching. All right, that's cost me seven gold so far. And I'll turn back and set, not a problem. I will hand you four gold. I, I, I can afford this one. Okay. You sure? It's a small favor for you. I may ask a small one in return later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Forget I'm, about I'm, it. Forget I'm, about it. I'm not. I'm not that. Anything you can ask for is small potatoes overall, for what we've done so far. Not a problem. I'm happy to do a favor for a friend. Don't worry about it. So uh, it looks fairly legit. Everybody's you know smiling and happy and like said a little confusion, but looks like everything's been done. And I don't think we're going to see any more problems here. Um, after Vance brings over um, some more seasoned people to really get the show going. I mean, it will do for now. Looks good enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the tone. Excellent. Okay. So we have, uh, I think we've, we've met our goal, which was to remove the rats from the big cellar. We've taken that over. Troll's going to be in charge of that while we're gone. Your snack pal is going to be here taking care of things, assisting Troll. Uh, so that's good. And who knows? We may get the port open. We'll see what happens. Where to next? We go back, relax for a week, and then get another mission, probably? So I can bring you guys back so you guys can actually spend a night in your own houses. Uh, don't actually have a real house. So we just use a room up there by Vance, but um, you know, I'm not I'm not opposed to that. Uh, do we need to give instructions to Joel? Uh, speaking of Vance, uh, you uh, actually Mood would hear in his head. Um, hi, uh, I am here to gather the previous party and bring them back to the city. Mood, that's you. Do we break mood? Oh, say that one more time. Sorry. Uh, you hear the voice of Vance in your head that says, Hello, I am here to get the uh, previous party members and bring them back to safety of the city to have them debriefed. I don't know where they are. <laughs> where did we put them? Because we, we picked them up. We, we left them in the keep. Yeah, they would we be them up. Are they just somewhere in the keep? They're just rolling around the keep. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll go round them up and I, I could. Uh, so Vance is here, or that's he, he's in my head. Uh, he's in your head. Okay, you can be like I, I can just. Uh, do you want me to send them over so they don't die? <laughs> I am very capable. Thank you so much. And I, I'm and I'm already here. Oh, are you? Already, where are you? I am at the kiss my mast. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get them there. Uh, then I'll tell everybody I'm going to go gather up the other party and send them and get them back. Because if I save Vance, they're going to just spout hatred at him. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going to ask Mermon to come with me so we can talk on the way there. And he will follow. As as you walk, he'll say, "That uh, that new one is interesting to say the least." He's something. <laughs> he'll be. He will fill out what we need perfectly. <laughs> I am glad. Um, when you guys have your new mission, I will stay here to make sure things run smoothly. Okay. Sharp pup, you don't hear that from the sharp puppy, and you don't know he's a sharp puppy no more. 
<laughs> now, what did you need to speak about? Oh, uh, you you were describing some magics that I uh, had never heard of before. And then we'll go into the conversation that we had. Yeah. All right, uh, you arrive at Kiss My Mast, and uh, Vance is talking to the tiefling bar owner. Great, uh, I'll, we'll bring in the other party. Says, oh, it's so good to see all of you safe and sound. And uh, he sees Miramon and, and bows. Uh, and Miramon kind of like, you know, uh, Prince Tichala, we don't do that here. And um, <laughs> uh, Vance says, uh, I was just talking to my lovely fiance, uh, how much I've missed her, and uh, unfortunately, duty calls. <laughs> you couldn't have yeah. mentioned that, like before we got here. I was either of you. <laughs> he he looks ashamed, and Miraman goes, "He was under strict instructions not to risk blowing her cover." To us, <laughs> to anybody. There are plenty of mind mages out there. Okay. Hold up. Vance is like in my uh, head. Vance is this super nerd. Like, we're talking. Um, how do I shrunk the kids? Um, uh, Rick Boranis. Yeah. And the, the bar owner has been described as like somebody that's out of uh, Moods League. Yeah. Like, just well, grab it. it. She rubbed Mood the wrong way when we met. <laughs> <laughs> like, Elvira type thing going on here. Yeah. We, we, I think we all keep forgetting Vance has the ability to, like, alter reality in almost any way he sees fit. <laughs> It's, it, yeah. <laughs> I think we keep forgetting that. that. That's a very solid sticking point. <laughs> I, I, bravo. I, I didn't see that coming, but bravo. Think of like a tall, wiry elf that looks like Rick Moranis. That's literally how I've envisioned Vance <laughs> since I created him before the start of this campaign. <laughs> Well, okay, uh, but how can you be tall and wiry and Rick Moranis? Come on now. I mean, I'm, I'm at least a little bit now that this last little untied string is not an untied string anymore. <laughs> so uh, he will he will gather up the party members and be like, ah, "Thank you. I will. I look forward to seeing you guys soon." And he will cast teleport and disappear. You hear this? Ow! No, I'm joking. Actually, I no. He he has a hundred. He, he, he has a hundred percent to circle. go back home. Yeah, he, he's got the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's fine. <laughs> a tall, wiry Rick Moranis super nerd. Yes, is Harold Ramis. Who? Oh okay. yeah, no, that's fair. Look, I barely know who Rick Moranis is. Bankman. I've, I, I, I know who Rick Moranis is. He's Dark Helmet. Yes, but Venkman is who he's talking about. Venkman, no, Venkman was um, Bill Murray. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, shit. Yeah, no. Egon, I'm Egon, thank I've you. seen Ghostbusters Egon. once. What? I've seen I've seen Spaceballs a thousand times. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Mel, have you seen Ghostbusters or Spaceballs? Trying to call out Mel, and she was ready. I'm just just checking. <laughs> I was um, just typing. I'm gonna hop off because uh, my the tension in my neck and shoulders is like going into my mouth and my jaw, and it's just all a lot of pain. And I'm just I'm sorry, Mel. Feel, no be feel better. Feel better. Feel better. Great feel session, better. guys. Thank you, Mel. Have a good night. Feel better. Thanks. You too. Or <laughs> thanks. <laughs> You have a good night, too. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, so Vance teleports away with the prior party members. What do you guys want to do? I want to fight. Uh, I want to fight. You can fight at night. 
I need to find Does anyone have now. anything else to do during the day? I'm going to question the now knowing part of our organization bartender. Uh, yes. He's... He has some issues, but he's adorable and I love him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, do I have any? Do I actually have any questions for? You? Yeah, I guess it was more of a. Is this just Sheev and Millie? Mood would have questions, but I can't think of what he would ask right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna question her. I'll, I'll I'll send you something and then we'll come back. Okay. Yeah, then I, I th I'm assuming me and Armand are gonna go back because he's gonna stay here now. Yeah. At the keep. Yeah, he'll stay. He's gonna stay at the keep for the thingy. Yep. Okay. Uh, when we get back, I will tell everybody. That the bartender is part of our organization and engaged to Vance. <laughs> Did uh, not see that? Who's Vance? Uh, Vance is a very thin. Uh, he's a very thin, very powerful magic user. That is not the best with teleportation. Mm. I can take him. Physically, not a question. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Sharp Puppet could take him. Physically, again, probably not a question. <laughs> Uh, so we church was cleaned out. Do we know if they encountered anything unusual? I look at Vigo. Uh, no, the um, the area was was cleared out, and um, I didn't tell me they found anything strange or unusual. But they got rid of what was not desired to be there anymore. Solid. Uh so we. I guess we can go well uh before Vance left, could we I've gotten when they were sending the actual people to show up, like at an exact time. Uh he would have brought some with him. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I guess I bring them back to the cube. <laughs> yeah. Um Okay. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh but more will be arriving within the week. Okay. So you guys essentially have a week of whatever you guys want to do in this town, and then we will be moving on to other bigger and better things. Oh, they want us to spend the Okay. Yeah, until they get the foothold started. Okay. Uh, they did bring a cleric to take over the church, though. Solid. Um, I think we should leave one of the sending stones here. I mean, if they need, I mean, we if we're gonna, I think we would leave a pair of sending stones here if we were gonna do that. Yeah. Or like give the one of the sending stones to one of them, and then give the other one to like Raedra, unless they already have a way to communicate with each other. That's not hope Vance shows up. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm assuming they have a solid plan. Do they have a solid plan? If you ask Miraman, he will say yes, they do. Okay. <laughs> so they have a solid plan, so I don't think we have to worry about them at all. Um, the other thing I was thinking is we could give one of the same stones to HQ instead of using um, my dreams as a beating place. Well, I mean, I can. Vance has sending. Okay. Um, I've gained a few more teleporting abilities, but if we want another person to be able to call HQ, that's not a bad idea. Uh, my vote is for Vigo to have a way of communicating with the um, HQ. That sounds like a solid plan. Uh, do you want okay, to so gonna So I'm going to leave one sending stone here with Chol to give to Vance next time Vance hops in and out, and then Vance will then take that sending stone back to Raedra, so Raedra has a direct line to us. Or I can just go give it to her. 
Not in her dreams, you can't. No, I have other ways. I have gained more abilities. I got yeah, the powers. I'm slowly recover, recovering. We have some downtime, so go ahead. Okay, so we will. So I'll hand over one of the stones, one half of a stone, and keep. I'll keep the other half. So, um, and that half a stone will go to Raydra. Vigo will keep the second half. I'll make a note of that. Perfect. So sometime today I will go over there and then come back. Yeah, easy enough to do. I could take people if they want more. If they have anyone ready as well. Yeah, no, Vance. And I don't. Vance would have brought over who was currently ready. They're still gathering the people that are out to come back and then be able to go to Raven. And I don't even need Vance anymore. <laughs> Vance is hurt by this. <laughs> I mean, he, he can always do it for me if he wants to, but <laughs> he does not need to waste his magical power to transport me anymore. It's probably, it's probably better this way. Uh, it's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, so we'll stop there tonight. Um, think about what well, you we, wanted... have, we have. We have 15 minutes to do a. If oh, they, that's uh, true. Do we, want the... to do, a mock, do we want to do a mock battle? Yeah, if Sig and uh... the, the, the training because I was I was gonna have them do that in their dreams. Yeah, let's... so it wouldn't break his concentration. Let's... It wouldn't stop him a tunic to the thing, and they could beat uh, beat the ever living shit out of each other in here. Oh, Sig's already on the map themselves. and ready to go. <laughs> yeah. So roll initiative. Uh, Vigo naps peacefully. You see this? I'm sitting on a pillar. <laughs> One second. There it is. Oh, I didn't even roll it at damage. <coughs> uh, for some reason, it should have doesn't, but you got that 20 anyway. That's so weird. Ha 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 ha! Oh, it's a seven now. You got to keep it. No, it, it's advantage, my friend. I just wanted to see. All right. Mm. Then so, again, you're up first. First thing that I would like to do. I would like to look down upon my failed attempt to once again attempt to solve sphere and i would like to rage <laughs> so sick you see dunnigan look down at, at sphere and just start like just grow hatred towards this thing okay one moment let me figure something out here how do i do this <laughs> Where the fuck is it? There it is. It, raging is a bonus action, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Well then, as that part, as my, uh, as part of my bonus action, um, I can move half my bonus. So one, two, three, four. So that's my bonus action. And then I would like to run forward with my 40 feet of movement speed. Let's see. Oh, if I get one just a little closer here. Yeah, don't mind the uh, messed up uh, <laughs> grid. I, I'm, I'm minding it very much. I'm not going to lie to you. You'll get over it. Yeah, I will. <laughs> As such, I would like to reckless attack. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna reckless attack him. I'll do it. One shot. I don't think a 13 will hit you. No. Yes. Let's get higher than an 8 and a 5 this time. <laughs> And 
Second hit. Does a 20 hit. Yes. Very good, very good. My friend, you're going to wish it didn't. <laughs> so, as you have not have yet to move, <laughs> or take a turn, mm -hmm. um, every attack I hit you with gets an extra 2d6 from me being a bugbear. Interesting. Yes. Yep. So, damage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 2342. Right? I'm counting 44. 44. 44. Yep. Now remind me, is action surge that's a, that takes a um a bonus action, right? No, you can just action surge. Oh, fuck it. Let's do it again. Does a 22 hit you? Yep. Mm-hmm. Poor Sig. Exact same numbers. <laughs> oh, oh. Um I get to reroll one of these dice for the slashing because I've got great weapon fighting. Yeah. So rolled it from a one into a five. Why am I on oh I know why. Oh you're yeah. So that that went from 12 damage to 16. Correct. So that's another 37, 48 damage. And last attack. Does a 21 hit you? Jesus. I'm unconscious. Christ. <laughs> Straight, up. <laughs> Straight up unconscious. Yes. The king and queen mood give a nice little round of applause. To, 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 to. I didn't even get to do layer actions for Mood's domain. <laughs> you know, I didn't think playing a barbarian would be this fun. Barbarians are a lot of fun until I start throwing flying enemies at you. Dude, I'll just learn how to fly. I don't know what you're talking about. That's, that's what the sharp dragons are for. Oh, and uh, just for the hell of it, I'm going to do... Where is it? There it is. Do this. Say so, yeah. Fire. Oh, wait. No, I don't think that would have mattered. What? Hang on, I forgot I'm resistant to fire damage. Okay. So, so 5, 10, 15 less damage? Um, nope, wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> Off by 6 points. Oh mm -hmm. man, that's crazy. And then so take an extra 2d6 more damage. <laughs> 4! <laughs> yeah, 4. See? If you can't pass a DC 17 strength save. He's already unconscious. Yeah. Hey, Man, yeah, plus 12, oh, I love it. Oh, oh yeah, because you've got the belt that should have gone to me. I'd have given you the <laughs> other belt. Well, I think this actually technically just proved that it shouldn't have. Yep. <laughs> I was yeah, going to say. I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, I think it should. Because... I need to be able to wrestle with giants. I mean, come I'm on. I'm gonna now. fucking retire, Sig. Like this is, <laughs> this is fuck it. I'm just gonna retire, Sig. This is ridiculous. Bug, I don't think like, anyone could. I don't think any of us could have survived with that. Yeah, no. That uh, the extra two d six, because he went first, is just nuts. So how much time yeah, was that total? No. But like that. That's why I've got alert. The alert feat is crazy. Um, and then I naturally have advantage on initiative from being a barbarian. So, uh, yeah, no, that's so um, Dune again. Yeah, I think only turn is specifically built to be the frontliner for you guys. 
because I it's, noticed it's what we last needed. Time. <laughs> it's what we really I noticed needed. last time you didn't. You you were a lot of spellcasters, and your monk is kind of a glass cannon. Well, our tanks were the monk and the rogue, That's and it, it's bad. not a monk built to be a tank. You're a monk built as a monk. Yeah, which means so it, it, we were. It, it, it's it, a monk. Like yeah, they, it's a monk. They don't tank. <laughs> no, they don't tank. Which I mean, I don't have great AC. Actually, I can take off this fucking uh, this breastplate and just be naked <laughs> and have the same AC still, mm-hmm. or any of the uh, plus two plate armor. We just have chilling. I don't think I'm you can a wear barbarian. Chilling. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, but yeah. you're also rune knight, which means you're proficient. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, what did you start? Also, in? I can't. I can't rage oh, with okay. uh, heavy armor. Can you not rage in heavy armor? No. I thought only... There, there's some things that work and some things that don't, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm a totem warrior. Got it. Yeah, I wouldn't have won this fight in thinking. a million years. I um, mean, you, uh, it depends on... Well, his his con is plus four, but he's got training in it. You could have you stun locked him. It, it, it was possible that with all of your hits, you, you could stun lock him and then he would never get a turn. So, I mean, it was really initiative who went first. <laughs> um, Which usually yeah. in a PvP battle, it, it, it is. It's close to that, yeah. Yeah. But uh, while raging, I don't gain any of my effects while if, uh, if you're wearing in armor. heavy armor. Uh, yeah. yep. Solid. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do we want to figure out what our downtime things, and then we'll come back in a week? later yeah we can do that you guys can put it put what you want to do the planning channel now we'll keep an eye on it and update you on the planning channel as we go for the week okay cool uh sig don't forget to long rest so you have all your stuff back and with you done again perfect yeah man Uh, would have just needed to up hit points (laughs) (laughs) fair but so I have 157 hit points as well. Solid. Uh, but what I was going to say is that wasn't as much damage as I could have done because I couldn't turn into a giant this round. Nope, you didn't get big and add a d4 to, all, to one d6. of those attacks. Is it d6 now? Yeah, d6. yeah, it's d6. Add a d6 to one of those attacks. Very mm-hmm. nice. Well, yeah, so we'll continue next time. Uh, probably a week later, unless somebody wants to do some extra uh, RP, nothing. Yeah. Do you have right. a? Do Y'all you have a? Night. I gotta go to bed. Do they know what a mission that? Have a good night. Thanks for playing tonight. Yes. Good night, yes. y'all. What was that, Eric? Do does Rager have a mission for us, just so we can think about it over the week? Um, not yet. Or, I'll put it in the planning yet. channel. Okay. 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 All right. Awesome. All right. I'll good game tonight. Thank you very much. Good game, guys. I'll see you guys next yeah. week. Later. Yeah, I'll see Bye. You guys next week. Bye, guys.